Adrian, I'm here. Okay, cheers, Andrew. <laughs> Sorry about that, James. Storm. Yeah, let me just, um, just two seconds, hold on. Yeah, all, all it is, Andrew, um, just got a few of my guys on here. They, they, they were thinking that um, this was going to be like an official presentation from that Brucey guy, you know? <clears throat> um, yeah, sorry about that, guys. If you go and Google Durban Storm, you will see that Durban was hit by um, something just a little bit less than a hurricane today, which is where we're from. So that's why it took me almost five minutes to log into this webinar. Internet so down. Or I'm lucky I've got electricity. Some people are without electricity. So uh, Murphy's Law, that it's happened uh, last, last week and this week. But uh, um, yeah, I'm here. So yeah. you know, I'm going to answer questions and, 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 and do what we need to do. That's right. So all I want to do, guys, um, just want to make sure everybody can hear me first of all. Um, are we not talking to ourselves? Everyone is muted except me and you, Andrew. Um, let me just make sure. Um, Matt, can you hear me okay? Put your hands up. Okay, great. Yeah, so like I said, everyone, um, normally the plan is every Tuesday, 5.30 p.m., a guy called um, Bruce or Brucey, I haven't officially met this guy yet. He's one of the top guys as well. He's going to be carrying out an official presentation apparently every Tuesday at 5.30. For, for, for whatever reason, that's not happening tonight. So I've got the, the main guy on, um, Andrew Eaton, who was the top leader in, um, I'm the top owner, I believe, in Lifestyle Galaxy, Galaxy Mining. So basically, um, all I'm going to do is let Andrew just chat for the first five or ten minutes, talk about himself say for example this is a completely unplanned this is mine and um he'll tell you um when he got involved and why he got involved with um galaxy mining and um, dragon mining lifestyle galaxy back in march 2016 and he'll tell you about basically how he's got to know all the people behind this you know including the ceo david martin and all the main people within within the within the back office there so um i'll pass over to you Andrew. if you just want to introduce yourself you got 16 people on here so um and what I'll do, I'll share my screen and um, just for two minutes, and then you can probably start off with um, introducing yourself first, and obviously these guys here, I'm just sharing my screen now from the back office of Lifestyle Galaxy, and um, where are you here? You're on here somewhere on the bottom here, I think. Um, yeah, I'm sure they should meet me. Uh, that's all the corporate people. Oh, yeah, the corporate people, sorry, yeah. So, yeah, if you just want to introduce yourself, Andrew, and... Um, how long have you known these guys? For example, the main the main guy here, David Martin, is the CEO, and yeah. um, obviously you got Ken Brown, Randy Prince, and obviously yeah. Tony here, who was uh, Tony and yourself are, are in all our upline basically, and obviously Doc Anthony here. If you want to um, just fire away for a couple of minutes, and then we can open up the microphones and and let anyone ask any questions. So over to you, Andrew. Yeah, sure. yeah, thanks. Can you guys all hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Fine, yeah. Great. Well, firstly, I love I love uh, impromptu webinars. I, I love talking off the cuff. So, so um, the less prepared, the better, really, because I feel I feel this more natural. So, yeah, um, yeah, guys, I think a, a good thing for me to do is just is just tell you a little bit about my background. And and you know, Adrian, thanks for having me on tonight. Um, I'm really excited about working with you and and your team in in the UK and Europe. Um, we, we we as a company feel we're ready to start expanding now and. I think as we as as you hear the story, my story, and possibly the company's story, you'll understand, and maybe even resonate a little bit with it um, as to why we're sitting in such exciting times, and and why possibly you guys are sitting at the right time place, at the right time in in terms of taking this into into the UK and Europe. So so my story is very simple. Um, you know, you can probably see I'm I'm just a normal guy, uh, like the rest of everyone else. Um, trying to trying to make a living and uh, and trying to create wealth for for, for, for his family. That's really my, you know why I'm here. Um, well, I've got way bigger vision now, but um, I'm an entrepreneur by profession. I had my own IT business here in South Africa from 2000 to 2008. Uh, 2008, that business went under. Uh, traditional IT business, uh, pretty much lost everything. If, if it hadn't been if it hadn't been for my wife, uh, I'd probably be out in the streets for those couple of years. Um, uh, but she kept the roof over our heads. I went, and, I went and found myself a job, which is something I saw I'd never do in my life, but I had to do something. Um, you guys will relate to this, being entrepreneurs, hated working for someone else, frustrated, all the rest of the stuff that goes with that. 
really what changed for me was in 2010 when we found out my little two-year-old girl who's now eight. We found out she was autistic. Um, I'm sure you guys all know what autism is. And I just realized that, um, you know, that was a changing point for me where I, to re where I realized I had to do something different with my life in order to give this little girl what she deserved in her life, which is not just my money, of which I still had none in 2010, um, but also, also my time. Um, and since then, you know, we've, had, we've got another little boy, and he's also special needs. So I've got two special needs kids. Uh, the little boy, um, you know, uh, you, you'd only pick it up after a while, but uh, so we don't, not too severe. But, but, you know, special needs kids take a lot of effort, and, and uh, they cost more money than normal kids as well. So, so I had dabbled in, in, in multi-level marketing before, network marketing, guys, affiliate marketing. I dabbled in it. I'd, I'd failed at one or two. I did fairly well at one or two others um, in short periods and then just quit. Um, and so when I, when I realized that I had to do something different, you know, I went to look for a company. I decided I was going to do it in that same model again. And I'm going to cut a very long story short. I ended up on a webinar in 2010, towards the end of 2010, where I, uh, when the company was still called Smart Media, David Martin, the founder of the company, was talking about his vision for the company. Um, and I don't know what it was, because I must admit the digital products we had back then weren't fantastic. But I just... Um, I liked his vision, guys, and I've always said that a man with a vision is way more powerful than a man with a, with a, with a product. And I, and I just really liked his vision. He, he is actually British. He comes from England. He lives in Vegas. And the product was like a digital product, and, you know, I, it didn't blow me away. But something told me to hold on to this guy's coattails. And so I said to my wife, look, I'm going, I, want, I want to launch this in South Africa. Uh, she thought I was crazy. Uh, most of my friends thought I was crazy as I'm sure you guys can relate to as well. Um, but I launched it. And, um, you know, we were, as a company, the product was never really ready to go big. But, you know, David had made all his money already developing banking security software. And what he wanted to do, he just had a bigger calling in life. And that was to make the world a better place. In fact, our byline back in those days was to ma make the world a better place. He wanted to help average guys, normal guys like me, uh, become financially independent or financially free by, by allowing us to participate in the biggest revenue trends on the internet by creating platforms that are enable, enable us to participate and leverage off those platforms to participate in those. So for the first couple of years, we had, uh, we had, that, um, we had, we had another social media product called Robson, which was, a, was guys, was a spectacular failure. Um, not, not, af not afraid to admit that because everyone's allowed to fail and David failed at the product. Um, you know, we were trying to compete with the, uh, naively enough, we were trying to compete with the Facebooks of the world. And I'm sure you guys would agree, there are not many other social media sp <laughs> platforms out there <laughs> these days other than Facebook. Numbers, number of people tried, including us, and we failed. So it was a spectacular failure. And, you know, unfortunately, the, 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 uh, the critics, they love to jump on that and write blogs about that sort of stuff. But the company never folded. In fact, I watched David Martin dig deeper into his pockets to pull us through a really horrid time in the company. Um, you know, I saw my I saw my income literally uh, go decrease by almost tenfold over over a period of about ten months. But I stuck with him, and he pulled us through. And then from there, we we went on to revenue sharing mobile games and esports, which which actually, guys, is quite a hit, um, specifically for our Asian friends, the guys who are running our, our business in, in Asia, Malaysia. And Adrian, you're going to meet uh, some of the leaders from Asia, from Malaysia in in, in Vegas now when we go there. <laughs> Big hit there. Um, not such a big hit in South Africa because I don't think that's our culture here yet. Probably wouldn't be a big hit in the UK because it's not your culture there yet. But esports is a huge trend, people. Um, so we still got that product. But the real game changer came for us in 2016. Well, actually, 2015, um, David called me um, and he said, uh, also a long story short, he said, Andrew, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to create this. Um, this mining platform, which is basically what you all see now. And uh, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to, you know, we've teamed up with the biggest uh, Bitcoin mining operation in North America. And Adrian, you're coming, with the, you're coming to that mine with us. So I'm really excited for you to see that so that you can carry those pictures of you there and everything back to the people in the UK. But, but really what David did that is because he wanted to create a safer mining environment for people to mine in, a more trusted one, one where there's a little bit more transparency. And you know, that's why we allow our, our leaders and, and, our, and our top um, miners to, to visit it. They sign in India and they go. And they sign in India only because that was the agreement that we made with our mining partners. I mean, these guys are a big operation. And the last thing they want is for us to be telling everyone who they are so that, they have, you know, that they're fielding calls from someone asking them, uh, 
<laughs> you know, what's happening with my $25 mining contracts. So, um, so you know, it's just to protect our, 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 our mining partners from incessant calls from, um, you know, you know what network marketers and, 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 and other people, they don't realize that these guys don't have time to answer those questions. So, so um, we've been mining successfully since 2016. We didn't really have a, you know, we didn't, it, it happened so fast, and I'm not going to go into that story too much, but it happened so fast um, that when we launched Dragon Mine, we actually didn't have a name for it. Um, we had to take the name Skill Dragon, which was our games, and make it Dragon Mine. Now, there's a couple of things that happened when that happened, is that um, is that a lot of Christians don't like the word dragon. So, um, you know, with respect to all the Welshmen on this call, <laughs> unfortunately, um, a lot of the places in the world where we were, where we were trying to uh, get this into, specifically countries like Nigeria and, 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 and uh, uh, many of the African countries actually just don't like the word dragon, the, the Christians. And so um, they consulted with a the, with the branding company in America. Their company said, well, who are you guys? You guys are a, a company with a galaxy of online products that try and change people's lifestyles. The obvious name is Lifestyle Galaxy. And under that, you can have an umbrella of all these different platforms. So we have Esports Galaxy, which used to be called Skill Dragon. We have Galaxy Mining, which used to be called Dragon Mine. We have Auction Galaxy, which is our auction site, which we're also busy slow launching at the moment. We've got other, we've got other products that we're bringing on board. So we're not just a mining company, but what you guys have got to understand, our bigger picture here is to create an ecosystem where people can make their Bitcoins, mine their Bitcoins, make their alt currencies, mine their alt currencies, and actually spend a portion of that back into our ecosystem to make us all more money. So we're really thinking a bit further than most of the other mining companies out there who just want to mine. Um, and it's an exciting place to be. So, um, so, so yeah, I'm getting a bit of feedback. Um, okay, it's gone again. So yeah. if you go back a couple of years again, so David really was trying to do this all on his own with 55 full-time programmers. We've got, you know, we've got 55 full-time programmers working for us. And many of, them, many of those programmers have been working with David since even before he launched his company when he was building banking security software. Um, and, um, you know, David's a great visionary. Uh, and like guys, I'm going to be open with you. I'm going to tell you all the strengths of the company and I'm going to tell you all the weaknesses because we've got nothing to hide. We're an open book. Okay. So David's strength is as a visionary and, and probably one of his weaknesses is that, um, is, 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 is that he is a visionary and that he, that he because that he's not as structured in terms of creating a big company, often entrepreneurs are like that. They've got to bring in the workhorses to, to take their vision forward. And I think in about 2012, 2013, David realized that and he brought in Ken Braff. And Ken Braff, as you can see um, you know, from, that screen, from the screenshot that, uh, uh, that Adrian had opened there, I mean, he's got a very impressive corporate background prior to joining us. He was, the, um, he was uh, one of the vice presidents for one of Tony Robbins' companies, worked very closely with Tony Robbins and Chet Holmes. Um, and uh, he actually came out to South Africa in 2013 and did a little mini tour with us. Ex extremely bright chap, extremely um, uh, uh, strategic in his thinking. Um, and yeah, there he is there. And I've met him numerous times. I've met all these guys numerous times. Randy Prince. He came on last year as our chief financial officer, CFO. Incredibly conservative guy, people. So you've, um, Adrian's probably already can tell you that um, he's probably noticed in the last two weeks that, um, that we can be a little bit frustrating to work with because we've got so many things in place to ensure that we, we protect both the company and our, and our, um, and our, and our miners or, or, or distributors or whatever you want to call them. So Randy's a very conservative guy. He's extremely bright. I mean, I've had dinners with him in Vegas. Um, and, um, you know, I kind of read what his background is. I mean, he's, he's actually helped uh, list, I think, his two companies on the, on the NASDAQ um, at, a, at an executive level. Um, and he also, funny enough, was, has been working with David for 15 years. So he was consulting to David. And only last year did David ask him to come in in his full-time capacity as our CFO. So... So, Adrian, you'll be meeting uh, Ken and Randy and David in Vegas. Um, you'll be able to see their strengths and their weaknesses. When, once you've met them, you can take it back to the European team. What you'll, notice, what you'll know about this company, people, is that we're different to many other network marketing companies, and that, um, which is a strength and a weakness in that we're not big on the raw raw, we're more big on um, creating the right product for people. Um, now, I'm a network marketer. I'm a marketer. It gets to me sometimes that we... You know, our events aren't as great as other events and there's not as much glitz and glamour 
Um, but on the other side, you know, the conservatism of our executive team have, have got us here to, to, uh, to, you know, since 2008 is when Smart Media launched. And yes, we've had two or three name changes, but, you know, we're here. We've stood the test of time. Yes, there's negative stuff written about us. There's negative stuff written by any company. Most of the negative stuff are written by bloggers who've never even bothered to come meet us. And when you challenge them to come meet us, they seem to shy away quite quickly because they know the line. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so, um, you know, uh, I can vouch for the, for the, for the executive team. Um, so those are, you know, Ken, Randy, David, those are our top executives. Uh, what then happened is we pulled in uh, Dr. Anthony Pantone our chief communications officer, and he's a good friend of mine in South Africa. Um, the company started hiring a lot of people from the field because they've, they, knew, they understood the company culture and they wanted corporate positions. So Dr. Anthony Pantone is no longer in the field. He's pulled out of the field. Um, and, 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 and he's a successful businessman here in South Africa. He uh, um, worked at corporate level for Edcon, which is a big... Uh, I don't know what you've equated to in the UK, but it's, it's, a, uh, it's a big retail chain here in South Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, Ruth is actually our compliance officer. She's going to drive you guys crazy because she is so big into compliance. Um, I say that with affection. She's a lovely lady. Um, but she does drive us field leaders crazy with all her compliance requests. Guys, which is there to protect us. So, uh, you know, we aren't here for the short ride. We're here for the long ride. So um, we respect her. And then Tony de Gavay, I mean, much of, what, much of what we have in the mine is because of his IP. Um, he mines with Genesis, he mines with Bitcup, he mines, he's mined with some of the scams. Um, he's always out there seeing how we compare. And, you know, if, if Tony was on tonight's call, he'd be telling you guys that um, there is no other mining platform, real mining platform that he's aware of out there that gives the rewards that we do. And I say that with respect to the others. Um, you know, if they're real, then at least they're doing a good job of being real and uh, helping people. So I'm not going to bad mouth our competition, but but none of them are, are competing with us. And Tony can actually show back up as comparisons in private, um, because he'll never do it in a public. You'll never you'll, you'll never bash a, another proper company in public, um, proper networking or mining company in, pri in, pri in public. But but he's often showing people his his back offices of. Um, Galaxy mining compared to BitCub, and, and and there's no doubt we get you know over, over the long term we get we get better results, and there's just no doubt. So so that's it really our executive team. Um, our vision people is to be the fastest growing um, network marketing company to a billion euros. Uh, they want to do that by 2020. We've obviously got stiff competition from the likes of uh, Jeunesse, who did it in about three or four years. And when I say they made the, they made that call from the moment we brought the mining in, um, so really from last year. Um, and um, and so yeah, it's exciting times to be there uh, to, to 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 be here. Uh, up until 2016, we were never really in a position as a company to take this mainstream and global. We're in 36 countries around the world right now. We will only open a country once we know we've done any legalities right to protect us, to protect our distributors. And so they also have us because we know we've got teams all over the world and we want to get them on board. I know all the frustrations, but we'll get to all of them. They're not going anywhere um, as we open up. So the criteria really is, um, are we legal? Can we be legal in the country? Uh, do we have sufficient leadership in the country to make it worth a while to grow a team in for the company to put in a bit of investment? So uh, those are really the two criteria. We're ready because of our product, because of our mining product right now. And uh, you know, I went across to Belgium and Holland uh, last year. We launched Belgium and Holland. Um, it's doing okay there. Um, I guess we could find stronger leaders still. Um, but it's wrapped and running nicely in those countries. Uh, earlier this year, I went back to Belgium and Holland. I uh, also did a quick trip over to the UK. We haven't found any people in the UK who want to run hard with this yet. Because um, in actual fact, I mean, I actually just popped across because I happened to be in Holland and Belgium and had meetings with two or three people. But, but you guys, because of, thanks to Adrian and his belief in what we're doing, and Adrian, thank you so much for that. I know that when a leader steps up and puts his, uh, you know, puts his name to something that... that uh, that it takes a lot of guts and a lot of, um, mm. yeah, um, it's a special kind of person who does it. So I want to thank you for that, Adrian, and uh, for your yeah. trust in us. Um, and that's why it was so important for me to get you to Vegas and to our mind so that, so that you know that you can feel comfortable and you can take that, you know, you can take that back to your team um, so that they know that something real and something that they can put their names to. Because, you know, guys, money is one thing, but reputations are, are lifetime. So, and I value my reputation and, and all of your reputations and Adrian and yours. 
Yeah. So, uh, so hopefully what you've done now over the last 15, 20 minutes is giving you a good background to the company. Uh, if there's any, uh, Adrian, if there's anything you want me to add or if there's anything that anyone, any questions anyone wants me to answer, uh, I'm here. So, um, thanks. Right, okay, let me just, that's brilliant. Thanks for that, Andre. Excellent. Um, we've got 29 people on the call now. Let me just check if there's any questions in the, in the chat before I um, unmute everybody. Um, just two seconds. Where's my chat bar? Adrian, while you're doing that, yeah. While you're doing that, let me just let me just make something clear, okay, guys. Is that is that you know we I love this company. Um, it's changed my life completely. Uh, I don't know. If, I, I I can I can safely re I can safely put my settings at 100% repurchase because I do not ever have to worry about waking up in the morning to see if the website's still there. Okay, so so um, you know. Been there, done that, been to the mine, know the executives, had an eight-year relationship with, uh, or seven-year relationship with David, six years with Ken, two years with Randy while he was still consulting. These are good, bright men. Um, but what I also want to say is you're not perfect. You know, you're not going to find the perfect company. And you will have some frustrations with us. Um, but that's what pioneers do. We, you know, we, we, we're now expanding globally, guys. And, um, and you, know, it, you know, everything was running smoothly in South Africa and Zimbabwe. We, we were running our teams. And we're now going to go global. And, and you guys get a chance to do that with us. And all I ask from you guys as we do that is, is to have patience with us and report one or two little things that you think could run better. And Adrian, you did it so beautifully today. I've already sent back that one. I've already sent that request that you're not chatting about this morning. Yeah, that's um, like, yeah. it's like yeah. anything. Um, there's lots of teething problems. We get in sort of questions like, you know, I won't say silly questions, but like, for example, the, the affiliate link, you know, it's quite obvious. Well, it's not quite obvious, really. The affiliate link for free members, that, People can think they can use it as a free member and start recruiting other people, but they're not getting, getting anything out of that. So little things like that uh, have confused some people, but you know, not everyone knows. But yeah, you, if you're a free member, you can't recruit, but it, it is the free system, the Dragon Mind system actually gives you an affiliate link. So people just assume they can use it. They've started recruiting people with it, and then it's been, they, 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 all their hard work has been passed up to their sponsor. So little things like that, people have a whinge about it. We all have a whinge about everything, you know, and um, that's, nothing's perfect, is it? You know, but you, you are looking to get those things corrected. For example, taking, taking that, graying that link out. Is that right? Just things like that, basic things. Whoops. Have we lost Andrew? Are we still there, Andrew? Just bear with me, guys. Sorry, Andrew, you, you back there now? Yeah, yeah sorry. But I, actually did, I, actually, I actually did disappear. My internet crashed when I came back on. I was amused. Yeah. I couldn't unmute myself. Yeah, yeah so yeah. Saying, yeah, yeah, I think basic, yeah, basic teething problems. Very, um, very minor things, but we all like to have a whinge about things. I mean, we can all criticize. The website, you know, there's two sides to the website. You've got the Dragon Mine inside, you've got the Lifestyle Galaxy side. It's, it confuses a lot of people. Why, why Dragon Mine? Why Scale Dragon? Why Lifestyle Galaxy? All these things confuse people. Okay. Once you get the grasp, okay, it's so, quite easy, yeah. Okay, so I, it's a, I mean, that point is a great point. Um, the decision was made for the next 12 months uh, from when we changed over from Scale Dragon and Dragon Mine <coughs> to Lifestyle Galaxy and Galaxy Mine to carry those other two websites. Because you do have affiliates around the world, you're not getting corporate communication um, because they were signed, you know, they just happened to find a link somewhere and, and they're doing things. So if we just transition from one to the other and close down the Skill Dragon and Dragon Mind websites, a lot of people would have wondered what just happened to their sites because for some reason they just weren't, you know, being communicated or communicating effectively with the company. So it's a phase out process and over the next six months to a year, you'll see that Skill Dragon and Dragon Mine will disappear. So yeah. once again, guys, it's just one of those little periods where, 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 where we just have to work through the irritations of that. Yes. But it's done for the right reasons that no one gets, no one, no one ever wakes up one morning and then Skill Dragon is gone, you know, or Dragon Mine is gone. Because yeah. I didn't know about Galaxy Mine or Lifestyle Galaxy. So it's to protect those people, to protect the integrity of the company. So like Lifestyle Galaxy is, is the brand name and Galaxy Mining is, is, is one product of that brand. You've got the Penny yes. Auction site, you've got the online game. And there's about five or six different products there. Is that right? Just for everyone to understand? Yep. 
That's correct. So the two that are completely open right now are, are Galaxy Mining and uh, Esports Galaxy. If you have a if you have an Android phone, um, you can go to the Play Store and download um, uh, Esports Galaxy. Yeah, uh, fun guys, lots of fun. Um, Learning Galaxy is still coming. Galaxy Mobile is our mobile app, which is just about finished. I think Adrian, you might even see that in Vegas when you're there. All right. Uh, um, and then um, Galaxy Growth, our personal development products, which are just about finished, I believe, the first. Mm -hmm. And then the um, Auction Galaxy is live right now uh, in a launch phase uh, in South Africa yeah. and Malaysia. And I'm, actually, I'm, actually, yeah, I'm actually looking forward to this, to this Penny Auction site when it, when it takes off because to be able to buy Bitcoin or even a Rolex watch or, 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 or an item for, for pennies on the dollar, that's... They make a lot of profit from these penny auctions. Like, if, we get, if we can get a share of that, really? that's, that's great, you know? Yeah, we've had a few auctions, you know, during our launch phase. The launch phase will still be another year over on this. Mm -hmm. uh, and, it will, and if you guys do your jobs properly in the UK and you build teams there, this will be available in the UK. But I can tell you something. We've had loads of fun with some of these auctions. And I'll tell you what, if you understand CV going through a tree, you know, PV, PV, but in our case, we call it CV, within a 20-minute period, you know, just just CV going through that tree ridic at a ridiculous rate as guys are buying more auction packs. It's a, it's a lot of fun and, and, very, and very exciting to experience as, as the person getting the CVs, you know? So, yeah, great, great product. Very okay, clever. Let me just, um, that's great. Let me just go through some questions in the chat before I open up the, the microphones, if anyone wants to ask them personally to you. Um, yeah, one key question here, I'm not sure if you'll, be, if you'll be able to answer this. I am recording this as well, so... Um, is the is the legality with countries like um, Canada, you know, in America? Can we can we get a clear situation? Yeah. To join in and either join in as an affiliate or just buy in um, a mining package in in the U.S., Canada. There's lots of other countries as well, isn't there? Yeah. So guys, um, so this is what I can say about this. It's let's talk America and Canada. America and Canada, they do actually follow the same laws when it comes to um, when it comes to financial services products. Um, and now we are not a financial services product because we sell mining equipment. We sell computers. That's our product. Um, Amway, I'm going to use them as an example because we all know Amway. They have dishwashing and toothpaste. We have mining products as one of our uh, uh, mining, uh, mining computers as one of our products. So unfortunately, in America and Canada, because that's exactly the same law, and it's the very same reason that BitCloud pulled out of America, yeah. if you are selling mining equipment in a contract format to someone, the, the, the FTC, the Federal, Federal, Exchange, what's the Federal Exchange Control, whatever they call themselves, FTC, whatever, they, yeah. they view that as selling someone a financial instrument. And because of that, and by the way, each state is different, slightly different. So it's not like one blanket law for the, for the whole of the states. It's each state is different. And so if we wanted to operate, operate legally in the states, um, in terms of having people going out there selling mining contracts, then we would need a license, a financial license for America, which we don't have. And from what I understand, David, them don't want one yet because it sort of also boxes us into a corner. Um, so, um, so I'm not saying it's not going to come. In fact, Adrian, you're probably going to get a lot of clarity on this in Vegas because I do know there's a couple of people, leaders, also want to sit down with, with, with Ken and, and Randy them and, and ask him about America. I just know when I last spoke to Randy about it, he said, Andrew, where do we focus our attention? going through the legalities of 51 little uh, uh, states in America with populations of 20 million, 30 million, or opening up a country like the UK with, you know, with, you know, with, with twice that amount as one little state in America, you know, or three times that amount. Um, do we focus on the states or do we open up um, you know, Malaysia with over 140 million people in it, where it's way easier for us to open up legally? And so that's really where they stand on that at the moment. Um, the company it, it, look I think one or two of you guys have, have signed up American people I know people in South Africa have and I think the company sort of lets that slip because it hasn't got to big volumes 
But guys, I th- I'm going to warn and ask everyone not to go, not to do that because the moment the company picks up a lot of American people or Canadian people joining, that there's a good chance they'll return the money to the people who, who signed up prior, you know, um, as well as, as not accept the, the, the new people's money. So, so I know it's a frustration. I've got lots of people in America waiting. Right. Okay. Uh, well, in the company, guys, we want to be here for a long time. We don't want to have any legal battles because you know we got greedy. You know. What, yeah, that's great. So what about what about if you reside in, in Canada or the US, but you 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 just you just become an affiliate. You don't buy you don't buy any mining packages. Okay. You don't buy any of the mining packages, whatever you want to call them, investments, whatever the FTC want to call them. But you just build a business and recruit people out of that country. Is that okay? So we got we are one or two people who do that. Um, Adrian, can I can I make a suggestion? Um, we do have one or two people who do that, and the company is aware of them. I would I would suggest that when you're in Vegas and you're sitting face to face with Randy, who makes those decisions, that you suggest ask him about that for your for your for your team. Uh, or the other solution that you actually brought up with me a while ago when you said, well, let's sign them up as a, you know, what's it, a company in the UK and let them go, you know, even though they might be residing, the transaction would therefore have taken place outside of US and Canadian ju- jurisdiction. Now, how duplicatable is that? How, how does that hinder your team growth? Well, that is a problem. Um, but um, uh, those are, yeah, that, that, those would be the only two solutions I can think of right now. Um, I think the danger, the danger being that if you find if you find a leader in America that says he's only going to recruit people outside of America, and the next minute you know he's gone haywire, and the hundred Americans all of a sudden signed up, that puts the company in a very vulnerable position with the authorities in America. And I think that's what they'd be worried about because you might not do it, Adrian, and I might not do that. But you, you know what people are like, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so what would actually, what would actually get away with it and it's going to be complicated. And what would actually happen then if that did happen? What would the what would the SCC or FTC what, what action would they take then on on this company or any company really? What, what would be the consequences? What would, what would, what would, what's the worst scenario if that happened? So if you look what BitClub had to do because they were in America, and yeah. BitClub is exactly like us, and BitClub had to run for their lives. BitClub had to. They basically just dropped all their American distributors. They just dropped them and yeah, that's right. but big, canceled all their... Yeah, but Big Club, and big club affiliates are still uh, accessing the sites and still trading uh, using VPNs. Correct. So what's the but, difference? They're still, they're, still, they're still building the business, even though they're not in the US. So, so, so once again, you know, Adrian... Mm. We've run the VPN issue past Randy, and um, his response is is that BitClub and look, Tony knows the owner of BitClub. The owner of BitClub, the guy started it. Tony has personal meetings with him in South Africa, and you know he's a network marketer. You know yeah. he, he likes to just go wrong and go, uh, and he's a very bright, bright guy, nice guy. Apparently, I've never met him. Um, but Randy has said what he knows about that if the, you know, the FTC had to find out that the guys are doing it through VPNs, they can shut down, they can shut down, uh, they can, people can go to jail. You don't want that. Mm. You know, so, um, and, they, and they, crack, they crack down quite quickly, guys. You know, so, so I'm not saying we're not going to be in America, but, you know, I want this company to be here in 10, 15 years time where, where we're milking the, the blockchain because we've grown to be one of the two, three, three, two or three biggest companies on the blockchain, which with our compounding and repurchase model is where we're going. I mean, that's another thing I should tell, tell you guys. Um, sitting down with the CEO of our mining partner. Now, guys, this is not David Martin or Ken Braff or Randy. This is our, the guys who we outsource our mining to, okay? The guys who own the biggest Bitcoin mining operation in North America. And when we visited the mine last year, we had breakfast with the CEO. And what this guy said to us at breakfast, he said, you see, he doesn't care about network marketing. He just wants to mine Bitcoin. He just wants volume. He just wants loads of hash going through those, that mine of it. We've become his biggest, literally one, if not his biggest, one of his biggest clients. 
and through our model. And what he said to us at that breakfast that morning was, was, was very exciting. He said, gentlemen, and there was one lady, Mariska was there. Mm. I don't know your networking model. I don't even like network marketing. I don't care for it. But he said that I am blown away by your strategy of taking 35% every day and repurchasing more gigash. He said, there is no other industrial mine in the world out there that's, that even does that. It's all linear investments. He said, and if, with the amount of miners you've got now, and if you never bring me one more miner, and you just carry on with that repurchase strategy, by 2020, Galaxy Mine will be one of the top three mines on the blockchain. Because hmm. the cop mine will kick in like that. So that was very exciting for us to hear. And that was from a guy that doesn't even like, net, doesn't even like network marketing. So, so, so when I look at this company, Adrian, I'm going, well, that's the bigger picture. The bigger picture is to be a five, 10, 15 years down the line. When we've achieved all that, maybe we're in America at this stage, but the company's done everything properly and by the law. You know, um, so what BitClub are doing is they, they're taking a shortcut for the sake of the networkers. And there's, 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 there's arguments for that, which, which are, are, are valid. But I think if you look at our culture, it's, it's always to do things by the book. They, they really, that's their conservative, conservative, conservatism coming through. And it's helped us get to where we are till now, up to now. So I guess we're all going to appreciate that. And what about, um, what about Canada? Is, is Canada less, less strict than America? Yeah. Can you get away from Canada or was it the same? Their FTC regulations, the financial regulations are exactly the same law as America's apparently. Right, okay. I saw a question there, Adrian. I saw a question there. Someone asked, why are we not transparent about something? Uh, yeah, let me go back, back to the questions in just two seconds. I was just going to share my screen yeah. or something. Hold on. Let me, um, lots of questions. I'm just going through them one by one. Um, uh, Stephen, okay. Just two right. seconds. Um, Yeah, Mike Z just asked about that, about Canada and um, America. So we've done that now. Um, we got the same question here about how much people tend to want to ask all the time. If they buy a $25 mining package, how much are they going to earn per day? You know, that, that type of question, you know, which is a difficult one to answer. This is not a rev share or, a, or a, one of those high yield investment plans. There's no fixed percentages paid out every day. Is that right? Yeah, look, you're mining Bitcoin, and you know Bitcoin. Um, you know, everyone, as you as you know, Bitcoin. Uh, when you mine in a real mine with real equipment, uh, we we you know we are at the mercy of of of, of certain things we can't control, like um, the difficulty levels. Bitcoin luck. Currently, we're going through some bad luck with Slash Pool. They, they, slash Pool as a pool are experiencing bad luck. Now that guys, if you don't understand what that is, I'm just going to yeah, Google. Let me share my screen and um, just explain who Slash Pool are. That, that's the, the the mining pool that Lifestyle Galaxy are part of, isn't it? As you can see, a dragon. That's, mine. Where, we, that's where we point about nine over ninety percent of our hash to. The other the other percent goes to uh, goes to Bitcoin.com. Um, so, but there you can see Dragon Mine. Now, the reason that hasn't changed to Galaxy Mine um, is because, from what I believe. Um, it would just create too much confusion with the agreements that I don't know, but that is still dragon mine. It's the same thing. Mm. Um, um, if, I show this, if I show this one as well, um, the, the pie chart, this is the pie chart here on the blockchain. Yeah. And you can see slush pool years is we got, we got 4.7%. Yeah. So it's, it's deep. So that's, so, so, but uh, slash pool, I think last week was about 6.5%. That's how many blocks it was hitting. So now 4.7. So, so it's, it's experienced some bad luck. So even though the price of Bitcoin is increased, even though we are repurchasing, well, as if, this, if slash pool's luck decreases, and go and Google Bitcoin luck. Yeah, yeah. If you don't know. But, yeah. but that's why you can never, you, you can actually never, you can never give anyone guarantees as to what they're going to mind. All we can tell you is that we've got the right strategy in terms of our repurchase strategy, because without that, um, you know, you're never going, you're never going to beat the, the Bitcoin difficulty. Never. So when people say, you know, what, what returns am I going to get? Am I going to get, you know, we like to use the language of up to 5% per month, but in reality in the Bitcoin on the, on our Bitcoin, we've never been below 7.6%. 
Uh, but, but, but that could change tomorrow. Tomorrow because of some really bad luck and some really hard difficulty because we are a real mine and with real mining equipment. Yeah, that could go to 3%. Um, yeah. It never happened yet. Okay. Just explain the Bitcoin luck bit again. Which site are we talking on? So you can go, no, just go, and, just go and Google what it means. It just, you know, if, so, so if you can, that, that pie chart that you're looking at, if you imagine that's a, that's a roulette wheel, okay? If, if, if you spun that a million times, I mean, the chart, every single one of those little pies, the white ball will land on all of them. Um, and sometimes you can experience good luck where it lands on, lands on it more often than not. Okay, and sometimes it doesn't. And that's exactly what Bitcoin luck is. Right now, that little white ball hasn't, it, I think last week it was 15 blocks a day that slush pool was mining, and now it's about seven. So it's almost halved. But as sure as you're going to have bad luck, it's going to turn around again and you'll have good luck again. So the, I don't want to get too technical here because, because I mean, that's a whole webinar that Tony's going to be doing for us next Tuesday night. I'll get you the link for that as well, Adrian. We're going to have a whole mining uh, yeah. webinar on that. I don't want to get too much into the technical. The technical issue is slush pool that they've mined. They've, they've had 31 blocks. Is that right? Today? Yeah. Yeah. So, so that, 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 that goes up and down, that changes every single day, and that's what affects the, the, the mining, the payouts for us. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But we're ahead, so, of, we're ahead of Big, yeah. Slashpool is ahead of Big Club, anyway. Yeah. Hmm. So, let, let, me um, just, let me just log into my back office. I, I wasn't going to do this yet, I was going to do this later, but let me just show, somebody, just show people an example of my back office with regards to, because people are always interested in, like, return on investments, how much percentage are they earning a day per month, which is not the, the right way to, to think about things. But, no. but anyway, um, let me just go into my, I put $10,000 in, as you know, um, a, couple, a couple of days ago, I've gone, I've gone past the 12 days. I'm logged in now, you click on the his, I'm into my, my dashboard, my Bitcoin dashboard, I'm clicking on history here. And this gives you um, complete, a complete breakdown on a daily basis. As you can see, I started on the 27th of September. Yeah. Um, I, I, Ten thousand dollars gives me seventy, nearly seventy-two thousand gigahash. Um, Tayam was—I'm not sure if he's on the call. He, he didn't understand this. What's going on here? So, day, obviously, I'm set the hundred percent. So, I'll show you that in a bit. So, every day, I'm 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 accruing around two hundred fifty-nine gigahash on my first day, two hundred sixty-three the second day, two hundred seventy-six the third day. So this is, in money-wise, this is approximately about $37 a day. Just blow that up. As you can see on this column here, my giga hash is going up and up. So I want to round up, I have $38 a day there. It's actually going down now to $35 a day, and then it went back up to $37 a day. Oh, that's so, the Bitcoin luck. Yeah. That's the Bitcoin luck. Yeah, Bitcoin luck, yeah. Yeah. So, but at the end but, of the day, if you, but the end of the day, $35 a day, if you times that by 30 days, that's over $1,000 a month, am I right? That's correct. So, my, for my ten thousand dollar investment, if you want to look at it that way, this uh, I'm on. I'm on plan. I'm on. Um, what's the word? I'm, I'm direction. Directionally upfront for about ten percent a month. Ten percent, a thousand dollars a month. Yeah, that's correct. Of which you. So, and, and if if you look at me, because I've been doing this for about eighteen months, and I've had a, and I've just been repurchasing, compounding every day as well. Adrian, today, um, if I looked at my rewards, I, I would imagine my I'm, I'm sitting at somewhere between 25 and 30 percent um, yeah. based on my initial uh, money that I that I that I put into yeah. the mine. So, so I as, know, I promise you, I'm more than happy with 35 dollars a day right now. I know it's going to go up at some point. A thousand dollars, so 10 percent uh, a month. In 10 months' time, in theory, I've broken even. I'm not, I got my money back in theory, am I? I've, I've made my money back in 10 months, am I? Correct. So, to me, that, that's, why I look at, that's how I look at things. If, even if I'm starting with $25 or $10,000, it's, it's more or less exactly the same. If you, if you start with $25 a day, you're going to break even with your $25 in eight months' time. So, you're not going to get rich with a $25 package, obviously. You have to scale up. You have to buy another $25 package next week or next month. You have to keep building more, acquiring more, or, or building a team. It's one of the two, isn't it? Correct. So look, I don't think anyone's ever going to get you know rich on a twenty-five dollar mining contract. Um, but at least they can see how it works. At least they can put their toe in the water. Um, you know, and if you know, um, and if they physically don't have any more money than that, then at least they can start uh, start making a little bit of uh, have a little bit of a wealth creation tool. Yeah, that's right. So um, 
I've just got two more questions. I've got to go through these questions first before um, I open up. Okay, the... I've got another, Jens, I've, Adrian, I've got, to be in a, I've got to be in another webinar in nine minutes. So. Oh, yeah, nine minutes left. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's, um, I'll open up the microphone now then. I didn't think, I didn't think we were short on time, um, Andrew. Two seconds. I saw, one, I saw the one about, from Stephen. I think it's a very good question, Stephen. I see Stephen, you, I can see on camera there about why we're not transparent to our mining partners are. Uh, Stephen, we're very transparent. Adrian's going to be able to go to the mine, um, which no other mining company can is allowed to do or allows anyone to do. He's going to touch and feel the equipment. He's going to probably meet the CEO of that operation. But the CEO of that operation asked that we do not go and main, mention them on big webinars, etc., mm -hmm. for the very simple fact that um, if we had a thousand people on tonight's webinar, the next minute his name, the company name uh, would be that have it, and the next minute they'd be fielding calls all day from how's my twenty-five dollar mining, uh, how's my twenty-five dollar mine going? Why is it not performing like this? Why is my five hundred dollar mine doing this? Why is it not doing that? And you know they're not, they, they, they deal with big, big, big investors, and we basically are one big investor because we crowdfunded uh, through Nature March. We crowdfunded um, our equipment in that mine, um, but they don't want to be fielding calls from each one of our members. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm not, it's, it's, it's quite funny really, it was not funny really, it's not the right word, but I knew the actual guy that's behind the mining farm, even before I knew about Dragon Mining, I actually knew, I, I, got, I got an invested interest in, in, the, in the guy who runs the mining farm through, through an ICO that was set up about a year or so ago, so yes. I, I knew the guy, I, I knew where he is, even before Dragon Mining, so it was just, it was just I knew it, it clicked, when Dragon Mine came along, um, Galaxy Mine came along, I knew it was real from day one because I'd already knew the guy who had the farm, you know? Correct. And, and, and guys, you know, I'm not allowed to say anything in a webinar and I'm really biting my lip. But I mean, you guys, if you guys had enough research, you, you'd pretty easily be able to figure out who our mining partner is. Um, you know, I've already said a couple of times that it's the biggest mining, Bitcoin mining operation in North America. And, you know, but, I'm not going to say that. Just, just to be clear, I'm really not allowed to use the, that guy's name or the, na or the company name that he uses. Is that right? Please don't. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And that's really just a, an agreement that happened between us and them. Uh, but like I said, Adrian and Stephen, it's very important to hear this. And it's a great question, Stephen, by the way. So thanks for asking it. Um, it's, it's got nothing to do with, with us other than, other than uh, the agreement that was reached between the two companies where he said, please, to make sure that my staff aren't getting calls from, from thousands of little guys all over the world asking what's happening with their mind, please protect us from that. And as a result of that, we have something called a meritocracy. We'll happily take our leaders or our big miners. So we've got, you know, guys who are not, you know, just doing, you know, they're not building a network, but they've put in hundreds of thousands of dollars or a couple of tens of thousands of dollars. They can, they can sign an NDA and, and come on a mine visit with us. Yeah. Um, the guys building big teams sign an NDA and they come to, on a big mine visit with us. And that's what Adrian's going to be doing. And Adrian, I'm so excited about that, but we're going to, we're going to, you know, for you to go back to the UK, to all these people that you know, these are your relationships and, and to be able to say, guys, yeah, I've been there. You know, that gave me such comfort last year. And, and I didn't even have trust issues because I knew David and Ken and Randy well already. But just to go and actually be in that mine and go, wow, this is our equipment, man. This is where it all went. And yeah. here it is working. Here's the CEO of the mine saying that we can be the, one of the three biggest on the blockchain in the next three years if we just carry on with the strategy. That was... That, 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 that made it very real for me. I think it's going to make it real for you as well, Adrian. That's right. And just go around mute everyone. For, if anyone wants, if anyone wants to ask um, Andrew a question, everyone is unmuted now. Any questions for Andrew? Because there's also background noise, and I have to start muting. Question. Well, I I joined the company yesterday. And uh, <clears throat> obviously, I, um, I paid for the $400 payment to become an affiliate. And uh, I, I paid using Bitcoin. And the tra transaction took pretty much t nearly 24 hours to go through. But it wasn't clear that they, had, you know, I didn't get anything to show that my transaction had gone through. It was a bit weird because it asked me again for to pay another $200, which I couldn't understand, even though it said that I'd already sent, you know, the 400. And um, whilst that was going on, I was very excited about the prospect of bringing other people in as an affiliate. So I then took the affiliate link uh, that was available to me, posted out to my list, my email list, 
and posted to my Facebook group and had a lot of people go through to the to the through the link <clears throat> some people signed up but were immediately then passed up to my sponsor and others just got a website that just says coming soon so from an online marketing perspective it's um you know it really wasn't very good from my perspective you know i've got a i've worked hard to get my people on my list and in my group so to see people going being passed up to my sponsor wasn't particularly great but also you know if i want to do marketing online and i want to you know do paid traffic and this type of thing and people are going to come across this coming soon website you know it doesn't it's not a very good way for me to market so you know for me it's a bit of an issue and i think there should be something to explain that you know we or, or we shouldn't be given access to the link until our affiliate status has been approved so um it, which would mean it would avoid that scenario so i don't know if you've got any comments on that is he still there andrew hold on I'll just check <clears throat> andrew are you still there oh. just see i think he's bombed out steve hold on let's just see if he comes back <coughs> Um, if, if everyone can mute themselves, if there's lots of background noise, otherwise I'll have to mute everyone again and then just keep us guy who was speaking. Gone. Yeah, hold on. Um, yeah, Steve, let's wait till Andrew comes back on. He seems to be lost in. Um, oh, hold on, he's ringing me on my mobile now, hold on. Sorry, Andrew, you bombed out, did you? Yeah, let me let me put you on loudspeaker. Hold on, um, let me hold on, Andrew. Yeah, fire away, Andrew. Fire away, Andrew. Okay, sorry, James uh, and ladies, I've been bumped off again. Uh, my internet's gone down, so I'm finding out. Oh, you know, I'm on again. I'm on again. <laughs> Are you back on? Can you unmute me? Okay. Can you unmute me? Hold on, let me unmute you. Hold on. There you go. I got I got Andrew unmuted and I got Steve unmuted. Yeah, Steve, you're unmuted and Andrew, you're unmuted. Yeah, go on. Okay. All right, Steve. I'm I'm very aware of your situation, uh, mate, and and I've got to hop into another webinar now. But um, is is your username um, is your username Passive Profits? Yes, it is. Yes, that's right. Okay. So you are live now. So very quickly, I'm going to do. I'm going to answer in two sections here. Number one. <clears throat> um, companies, for instance, like Genesis, they, um, w w when a Bitcoin transaction takes place for one of their products, um, although it needs to be obviously verified by six, verified six times, they accept the payment after the, the moment it goes in. Our program was set in such a way that we, we that, the, that, that the company wanted all six verifications to happen before it was accepted. I believe the programmers are not working on that because because of, of the glitch that you've experienced. And I believe, Steve, that moving forward very soon, we will also be very much like the um, genesis of the world, where um, you know, with one, you know, as soon as it, as soon as the transaction takes place, it, it gets accepted. Um, your particular unique situation, I'm aware of. Um, I have sent that exact because Nilesh gave me the full report. I've sent it to our uh, our corporate team. Um, let me assure you that I'm going to be on top of this for the next, until it's done, but we're going to see what we can do about sorting out the mishap there. All right. And if, even if I have to get you onto a call with, with one of the executives, because to me, if I were in your shoes, um, I'd be, you know, I wouldn't also wouldn't be happy. So let's get you rewarded for that. Um, and see, I'll, I'll work, I'll work with you the best I can. Okay. Okay. Th yeah. Thanks. Thanks for that, Andrew. Well, fair yeah, enough. So what, what actually happens then, Andrew? Then, if, if his link, if Steve had his link live, <clears throat> his link out, and so, um, so, so his payments hadn't gone through. So the so the payments hadn't gone through on the Bitcoin side, um, and obviously because he's a proactive marketer, within a minute of him doing it, although the Bitcoin transaction hadn't happened, he sent his link out to a bunch of people who he signed up almost immediately by the looks of things. And, uh, and because he wasn't live yet, uh, the CV points, he got his once-off once -off incomes, but his CV points didn't accrue underneath him while he was still considered a retail customer. Because I, I imagine, Stephen, you were first retail and then you were upgrading to, to become a Value Club member. Am I right? 
Yes, I was. I was. Um, I bought a, a small mining package first, and then um, yes. I bought the the um, affiliate uh, package. Okay. But it, it was. So I, I mean, for me, I mean, I, I was. I'm always going to go hard straight away. So, but I wasn't made aware that I couldn't yeah. do that. You know, so it's a, there's a communication breakdown. There should be well, something. You should, you should have been able to see. And apologies for me interrupting because I've got to hop into this other call. That's the system's glitch. You should have been able to, the moment you upgraded, have done that. So, so no one, no one should have had to make you aware that you couldn't. It's a just, it's a system's glitch which you found from going from an upgrade and then taking such massive action so quickly that I'm going to be on a call with Randy, the CFO, tomorrow. Um, I'll have a, this is the main thing that I'll discuss with him because I need to sort this out so we can move forward and also make sure it doesn't happen to other people. Okay, but I. Yeah. Um, get, get my details from, from, from Yilesh or from Adrian. Uh, happy to deal with you directly on this. Okay. Thanks, Andrew. Pleasure. Okay, Thank then you. I will leave you go then, is it? Um, yeah, sorry guys, man. I'm having fun, but I've got to get onto this other call and I'm having internet problems as it is. So I'm worried about getting onto that call as well. But uh, guys, uh, thanks so much for your time. Adrian, it's been great. I'm, I'm happy to have more calls with you guys. Um, over the coming weeks, uh, Adrian, I can't wait to meet you personally in Vegas. I think we're going to have a lot of fun. Um, and then uh, I'm looking forward to coming to the UK next year, guys. Um, I want to come do a proper launch. I know a lot of you guys do most of your stuff on the internet, yeah. but if you're comfortable I'm having just, a couple of events. And just one more I thing, wanna... for people that just want to come to the mining farm, we're, we're not, some people just want to vi actually want to visit the mining farm. You can arrange that as well, can't you? For, to visit the mining farm, one of two things has to be in place. You need to be a leader in the business, so you need to have been growing a big network. And the second thing that needs to happen is, or, and always, you need to have a lot of money invested in the mine, which I think is upwards of $50,000. And that way you can, you, know, you can form part of a tour group. Um, so, um, and the reason they did that is otherwise we'd have to take 1,000 people a, a year through the, through the farm as well, which is also what our partners didn't want, is people queuing up outside to see. You know, a $25 client queuing up outside to see his, his equipment, you know, and, and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. So those are the parameters we work with, work in. Um, and the reason I got you on board, Adrian, to come is because I just said to the company, listen, you know, you've got, you, you're basically on your way to LMB3. Quick, quick, you, you're, you're a UK leader that we want to, you know, be able to launch the UK with. Um, you put your name to this company and, and they agree. So, um, so you know, I'm excited about that. Okay, then, Andrew, yeah. thanks for everything. And um, we'll catch up in the next one, yeah. Great, guys. Thanks so much for your time. And I saw some lady asking, are we legal in India? Last one quickly. Yeah. Uh, we aren't operating in India, not because of the Bitcoin laws, but because of the network marketing laws in India. They are very gray. Um, we had an affiliate arrested there in 2013, I think. She did some things wrong. Uh, but at the very same time, the CEO of Amway was arrested in India for the, on the very same charge. So if you go and Google Amway CEO arrested in India, same charge. And because of that, uh, from a corporate perspective, they, um, India won't be one of the countries that they're going to look at in a, in a hurry. Okay, guys. Um, so I'm sorry about that because uh, it's also a nice market. But uh, um, Adrian, I believe you've got the list of countries we are open in. So maybe you can share that. Okay. Yeah, okay, man. Super gents and ladies, thanks so much for your time. Cheers, Andrew. All the best. Okay. All right. Cheers. Bye-bye. <clears throat> right. Okay, everyone. Thanks for that. Um... If anyone's got any more questions, obviously you can, I'll, I'll unmute everyone right now and um, I'll share my back office the next um, couple of minutes as well. Let me just, um, let me just share my screen first, hold on, just to show people around what's, what's what. Um, so basically, this is going right back to the to the the sort of um, the basics of things. You got Dragon Mining Systems. This is for the new beginners, obviously. You got Dragon Mining. This is one website. As Steve asked earlier, why have two websites? But at the moment, it's two websites: Dragon Mine and Lifestyle Galaxy. But it is going to become one um, at some point. So if you want to become a, a customer, a free retail customer, then you just need to get a link off somebody, off an affiliate, obviously. You can't get a link off a free member because free members are not allowed to recruit. And then basically, um, you set up a free account. And um, we just click on sign up here as a test. 
So somebody would send you the link, Dragon Mining Systems, there'd be a, a prefix before it. Click on sign up, and then you've got a choice of six, five packages. You can start with as little as $25, and that gives you 135 giga hash. Obviously, the more you spend, you do get some discounts on the giga hash. And then if you go to an affiliate and pay the $400 one-time payment, then you get access to some cheaper giga hash, which is like wholesale mining. So you've got customer mining, and uh, customer retail mining, and you've got wholesale mining. So it's like going to a, a shop and buying your food, an, a, a normal corner shop, or going to a wholesaler's and getting your food cheaper. You're gonna get cheaper mining if you're an affiliate for that $400 one-time payment. You also get in a position in the binary, which you, you could potentially see a lot of people drop below you. And that's a, an investment on its own, investing in the binary. And obviously you can build a team as well. But if you don't want to build a team, if you don't want to recruit, you can just keep buying as many of these as you want, $25 a week, $25 a month. You can buy 10 of these, $500, and put five grand in. You can spend as much as you want and buy as many of these as you want. And then just leave it on um, automatic compounds. So let me just log into, I've got a dummy account set up, are you okay, with just um, $25 in. I believe it's this one, hold on, there you go. So this is, this is a, a $25 account I bought, just as a test. As you can see, I got 135 giga hash there. I've earned 4.79 giga hash. The first thing you would do as soon as you log in is click on the BTC dashboard here and come straight to um, this page here. And you would click on settings, very important this is, and set this, this is set to 35% mandatory. I've set that 100% because I want to compound every day, 100% of my earnings. You just copy and paste your Bitcoin wallet address in there. So when you're ready to withdraw, it withdraws to this um, Bitcoin wallet address. I got no intentions of withdrawing for at least 12 months. I'm compounding for 12 months. Because don't forget, I'm recruiting as well. So I'll make my commissions back through recruitment. I'll just let my, my mining power um, build up. So that's my, that's my free account. I'm, I'm a customer there. I'm, I, got, I, got, I got my own free customer account under Dragon Mine the $25 packaging. And if I want to buy $25 packages, I, I can still buy them as a free customer as well. I don't have to keep spending $500 plus. I can buy small packages as well. I've also got an, an affiliate account, which I paid $400 for. I'm also paying $30 a month. This is um, pretty important. Um, you're more or less given a bit of a leeway for the first month, okay? You, but you have to activate a $30 per month subscription. If you don't do it from the, the, within the first month, it doesn't matter. It uh, it will take it from you automatically as you start to earn com as you start doing commissions. But you just click on manage subscription there, and then basically activate it either on a Visa debit card, or you can set it so it takes out as you can see directly out to via e wallet funds out of your commissions. Uh, here, the accounting part, you've got the history here. As you can see, I've had some cycles already. I've earned two thousand two hundred dollars already. In um, since um, when did I join? Um, let's look at these dates. Are they back to front? No, they, 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 yeah, yeah. So more or less, I joined on the tenth of September. Had my first commission then. So I've been in more or less a month. I've been in for a month. So a month is exactly as of today. As you can see, I've got commissions coming in. These are commissions from when people have bought. Um, I've come in and paid the $400. When somebody pays $400, basically you get a $150 commission. And that's paid, can be paid in, in $50 sort of um, payments. Depends on how they paid. They, they may have paid a $200 um, affiliate fee. Because don't forget the $400 can be split over two payments. $200 a day, $200 next month. So then you get paid accordingly. As you can see here as well, I'm also getting um, Cycles, cycle bonuses, and getting fifty dollars cycles. You can earn up to fifty thousand dollars a week in cycles. Okay, as, as a maximum. I'm also starting to earn um, matching bonuses, as what they call them. Okay, this this is paid on three levels. I've had my first one there, ten dollars. Uh, so it's very very new. Um, this is the you should all have this compensation plan, four pages long, in the back office in the in the Facebook chat. This explains the $50, there you go, the $50 cycle, okay, very important. You need $300 on one leg and $600 on the, on the other leg, totaling 900, sorry, points. 300 points on one leg, 600 on the other leg. Once you get 900 points, you get a $50 cycle. And there you go. And also, when somebody pays a $400 affiliate fee to join, you also get 200 points. 
when somebody pays thirty dollars a month, you get thirty points. So it's all about points, okay? And these points then turn into into fifty dollars cycles, and cap up to fifty thousand a week. But this is even bigger. Again, this is this is pretty big here. I qualify for LMB three already. I brought in my four, I brought in more than fourteen people. So you, all you need basically, guys, is fourteen people. Uh, you need um, at least four members on the left and, and ten on the right, for example. So you should need ten on the right, four on the left. That's fourteen, and that's going to basically max you out then on these commission matching commissions here. So basically, if you personally sponsor somebody and that person earns say. I don't know, say you really bring some real good guru on and he earns 10 grand a month, which is pretty easy in this business, I would have thought. Then you're going to earn two grand a month off that person you brought in. So imagine bringing in 10 people and they're earning 10 grand a month each, the people that you brought in, you're going to earn two grand a month each. So you're going to earn 20 grand a month off the 10 people you brought in. That's just on your first level. That's paid down three levels. You've got another 20% on your second level and attempts on your third house. So this, this is, you can earn, to me, you can earn millions of dollars just from this on its own. That's without the cycling, and that's without the mining power. So to me, it's, it's just a bit of a no-brainer. There's, there's a lot, you know, people who can build this can make a lot of money. That's how I see it. So um, let me, um, and I wasn't sharing my screen then, was I? I can't believe it. Hold on. Oh, that's a shame, guys. Hold on. Was I sharing my screen? Let me, let me unmute everybody. Hold on. Hi, yeah. Max. Was I sharing my screen then, Steve? Yeah, you were. Yeah, yeah you were, Adrian. All oh, right, thank God for that. I thought I wasn't sharing my screen. I thought it was a complete waste of time. Any more questions, guys? Yeah, carry on. Hello. Got a question, Adrian. Yeah. Oh, I you know what you you know when you said um, ten thousand when you was discussing earlier when like you said uh, so much a month and after ten months or twelve months you said you get got your money back. Are you saying that you've doubled your money and if you wanted to you could take your seed money out? Well that's a good question. In in theory I I, I probably confused myself there saying so in, in theory I haven't really had my money back. Right, all I'm saying from the compound effect, I brought my business if I grow my business at 10% a month, I put 10,000 in today, I'm compounding a thousand dollars a month in Bitcoin. Don't forget that's in Bitcoin value. That's so if the Bitcoin price goes up as well, that's, that's more that's a bigger bonus as, as well, don't forget. So just stick the dollars for now. If I'm earning 10,000 in on average of 10% a month, now 10% a month may not sound that much to the to the av average sort of Billy Rev share guy, you know what I mean? Who wants to win one or two percent a day, you know? So at the end of the day, we can't treat it like that. This is a real business with real mining power, which is up and down. And as he said, you, you, if the luck is in your favor, you have a good day, you have a bad day. So I'm earning a thousand a month. I've compounded my business 10,000 over 10 months. So really, <coughs> 10 months time, I'm going to have $20,000 worth of mining power instead of $10,000 worth of mining power. Do you know what I mean? So then that compounds, and in another 10 months, you'd have 40,000. Yeah, it's right, but probably even more again because as the compound effects kicks in, I'm, I'm just working that, that example is just used on $35 a day. As every month goes past, that's going to be on $40 a day, that's going to be $50 a day. Before I know it, I'm going to be on $100 a day. Right. But can, right. I, can, I, just say, can I just say something on that? Yeah. <clears throat> These contracts are three years maximum, right? Yeah. Yeah. So if, you if you continue to compound, you know, for like 12 months, you know, another 12 months, You've got to start withdrawing at some point. You're only going to have a year left to withdraw your money, aren't you? You only have a year left, but your, but your, your giga hash is, is, is you're creating a new th you're creating a new three year contract every day as such a new. So if I put ten grand in today. That ten grand is going to expire in three years time to a certain degree. But tomorrow I'm creating I'm buying another contract. I'm creating a new three year contract tomorrow. I'm buying more mining power tomorrow. What is so, but if you just, if there's got to be a point where you stop compounding, isn't there? When you start to take your money well, out. Yeah, to get money yeah. Out. for me, I'm probably going to compound for one year because you know I've, I've made two grand already just just on affiliate commissions. It's different for me, but if for the average person who can't recruit, I would say compound for one year, and then set a strategy, and then after one year, perhaps set it to fifty fifty or sixty five thirty five, and then start withdrawing to get your original seed money back. You've got to think about getting your seed money back. Yeah. 
You can only actually take 65, can't you? 65% out. That's right, yeah. So if you want, yeah, if you want hundred dollars a day, so for me, for example, if I get mine, if I get mine up to up to hundred dollars a day, which I could do pretty quickly, then I switch it to 65, 35. I'll withdraw $65 into Bitcoin and I'll, I'll mandatory compound 35%. Like, like reality, Adrian, these contracts go for many, many years. They go for, say again, they go for many years. Yeah, they would because you're buying a new contract every day if you're compounding and the that's maximum right. take out is 65%. So that 35% keeps on buying a new contract. Is that correct? That's right. So to, to me, it's, it's a three-year contract, but with, 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 the, with the lifetime auto daily contract. So you're forced into buying more mining power. So... So it's a lifetime contract, a uh, sorry, lifetime compound. Yeah, is it correct? Yeah, a lifetime daily compound to a certain degree. Yeah, you're always, you're, yeah, I think it's. Uh, a, Except that a, your original compounded contracts will eventually be falling away. Yeah, yeah think of it like, like ad packs in a yeah, yeah, think of it, think of it like an ad pack. That's that's the best way to probably educate people because people understand ad packs. Yeah, it's it's the same thing. We're an ad pack, and say in future our pro there's a there's a hundred and twenty day expiry on the ad pack with this it's a three-year expiry on, on the mining package so three-year expiry not 120 days yeah so um and big club network i've done something similar don't forget i'm in big club network as well I, that was the first that's where i got when i was first introduced to big uh, bitcoin more or less and that was about two and a half years ago i, I joined big club and big club i got a similar thing going but it's, to me it's not as good as this and um <laughs> I can see all the people that I've never coming into this shortly, and um, the, the links. More, this is more transparent than Big Club Network as well, because you don't know what's going on with Big Club Network with regards to the mining farm and whatever. This is more transparent, and um, the compensation plan is better as well. And um, obviously, it's a new, it's a fresher company. And, um, first mover advantage as well. You know, people joining this, so got more chance of recruiting and building a team. I've got another question. You might be able to answer this, Adrian. Um, uh, I noticed in the back office where we can go in and buy Bitcoin mining contracts. You are better than me. Why does that person just mute their mic? Hold on. Okay, what's that? Okay, can you hear me all right? Yeah, I can. Yeah. Okay, so my question is there's two types of mining package in the back office one that says standard mining and the other one that says pod mining what's the difference ah. yeah that's a good question the pod minings um will apparently will be coming back they, i missed out on that by about three weeks when i joined but <laughs> they sold out like hotcakes it was it, it's a slightly discounted mining you get you get some extra bonus it's something they tested there's something it's, it's called a gigapod where, where the mining farm is, they got, they got some special tests going on where the electricity cost is slightly cheaper than the normal, I think it's three cents a kilowatt. So apparently that, that is coming back out shortly, but they, they, it's one of those things that comes out and they sell, they go quick. Yeah, the other thing that I'd heard was that we're, at, that we're actually going to own the mining equipment after the three years, or is that... A... No, that's like, I, I, I am with that one. I, what I have here is if you... That's the plan because this is not classed as an, as an investment like like Jenny says you buy in the hash power with this yeah. you're actually owning the hardware and that's the reason for the 12 days apparently they're, they're actually buying the equipment for you in China and, and shipping it to <coughs> if you so change you your mind, you the the hmm? do we own that equipment or and yeah you own in fact you can actually if you change your mind after 12 months you can actually have that equipment sent back to your home and mine from my own hand Explain that again. Uh, we, we, whatever, for example, I put ten thousand dollars in. Say an ant miner costs three thousand dollars. I, I'm actually bought into three of those, and the other thousand then goes into a pool share. If somebody's only putting twenty-five dollars in, they go into a pool share, and they own a small portion of that ant miner. But. Um, Somebody's actually got enough money in the system to buy their own ant miner. They can take delivery of that ant miner if they want. If they want to come out and move away from the business, they'll send it to them, send it back to you. Then you can plug it into the wall and mine yourself. 
well, you, good luck, good luck with that one. But um, yeah, in theory, yeah, you could try it. But obviously, the solvent electric cost, isn't it? Yeah. Can I um, can I make a quick suggestion? Yeah. Um, I don't know if you've set up a, a Facebook group for this business. Uh, it it would have been good to be when it, when I joined. It would have been good to have had all the information readily available, you know, so I knew what all the pitfalls were going to be before I got started. So if you've got a Facebook group where you could like put all of the, you know, the in the PDFs, the relevant information about. Yeah, I started, um, I started that, but nobody's it's not. It's not. I've, I've opened the, the group, um, but I haven't. Uh, it hasn't got active yet. I can. Um, there's a couple of files I've uploaded we, there. Mm. Can we do that? Because obviously there's. I mean, I've already had a message. We've been speaking from somebody in India asking me, "Is this business?" You know, available in India, and I said yes, it is. And then suddenly, two seconds later, I heard it wasn't. So uh, uh, we got, we've got all the information about the countries that we can target because we can't just go, you know, um, yeah, marketing. Uh, to everybody. We've got to be very focused on who we market yeah. this to now. Yeah. So got, there's a doc, there's a word document in in the in the in the chat where it shows. So, so that's going to be a problem because nobody can keep scrolling up through chat. So why can't we have yeah, a group? Yeah, no, no, I, I get that. No, that's that's in the group as well, but in the official, but the group hasn't <laughs> gone active yet. But the, the file is actually in the, in the proper Facebook group, but the chat. Me, me, um, Matt, and um, <coughs> I've, got a, I've got a VIP um, chat with just the three of us in there, and all those documents are in there. So it, it, we've just been passing that out into the into the other two chats as new people come into the group, you know. But yeah. We, I haven't had time to take the new group yet. Hmm? Add you to it, Steve, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Just, no, but we, we, it's, but we need to get the, uh, obviously we need to get the official, other you know, proper Facebook group going as well to a certain degree, yeah. Yeah. That, that way, you know, people can then bring their prospects into that group and yeah. they can, you know, instead of, you know, because there's so much, there's such, such a complicated setup yeah. with two websites, different links, you know, you've got to be a refer. You, it, there's a lot of things going on, so we need to have mm. a place that we One can time. save our prospects and say, right, check out the videos. This is the step by step. This is what you need to do before you actively pay your money, right? Yeah, and step one, step two. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, we can. Well, I, I can. Uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll. I think that group is on secret right now. I, I'll just make you an admin, Steve and, and Matt and Lee and um, all of us, and then. We can um, we can share the group between us, you know. Yeah. There's nobody exactly. actually in there right now. It's, it's just dead. It's just uh, I think only you were in there, Matt and Lee. I think and the, uh, the yeah, yeah, me. I think I've added Lee to it as well. Yeah. Always added well, to it. I mean that that's going to quickly, you know, if we really push this, that's going to quickly build. So. The thing I was concerned about is the VPN. That's you know that's a bit of a, I've got so many American um, down on them. You know, what he said earlier on, I thought, oh my god, you know, if they build a team. You know, what do you do, sort of thing, you yeah. know? Um, it's one of those things, isn't it, really? Um, Going to have to read them. <coughs> what take, sorry. Let me just, um, this group here, for example, where we to, um, um, <coughs> there it is there. Uh, am I sharing my screen? Not yet. I'm not sharing yet. my screen, am I? No, not yet, mate. All right. Yeah, you are now. Yeah, all these, okay, I can't, I can't blow that up. Um, as you can see, these are the ones we are sort of officially in, which is more than enough to get on with, I think. Malaysia, Philippines, Indonesia, Singapore, South Africa, you can see Nigeria, Namibia, Namibia Zimbabwe, you know, Ghana, Brazil, Portugal, Vietnam, there's loads there, you know, Romania, Poland, Bulgaria, Croatia, Belgium, Spain, Denmark, Sweden, Greece, Australia is a big one, in the UK. Hmm. But um, what I'm um, what I'm getting off. Um, yeah. Andre, I have a question. Once you're ready. Yeah. Right. And I have a, a few questions, but I, because I some people ask me, and I don't exactly know. Uh, the first one is when actually this company was established? Which year? When were we, when were, when were you established? Yeah, this company. Which year was established? 
Um, two seconds, I'm multitasking. I got, a, I got an important uh, meeting with somebody now. Um, I think he said uh, 2016. Yeah, March 2016 was Dragon Mining officially kicked off. Yeah, you're right. But before that, they had a number of other products and services going. But Bitcoin became a sexy product back in March 2016. Starting to get about. So they wanted to run, run with Bitcoin then. That's when it started. That's fine. The other question is, uh, when we re, when we compound, it only compounds when we hit the twenty five dollars in the account uh, account, not just for two dollars. It's not going to compound for two dollars. Oh no, that's a very good question. Um, you you were thinking of ad packs now, and you you were thinking of, of Genesis mining, or you're thinking of FutureNet, Future Pro, but it has to hit fifty dollars or thirty dollars before it actually compounds. Yeah, that's a good point. That's not the case with this. This is actually compounding daily. Because you're earning, you're earning a, a micro piece of Bitcoin every day. So you okay. buy, a, buy a $25 mining package today, even if yeah. only 10 cents tomorrow, you're, you're on $25, 10 cents tomorrow in Bitcoin. That's, 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 that's interesting. Uh, and also, there's a very important question, especially for affiliates. Uh, I, I am an affiliate. I, I need two legs. So what, I have a, a one leg. The, what, the other leg, I will sign up. Uh, I have to be an affiliate as well. But, but what I want to know, is, is automatically uh, going to my other side? I no, have that's to a very good question. Let me, um, I, I'm sharing my screen again now, okay? Yeah. Business management, you're on the left, okay? As soon as you set up an affiliate account, click on tree settings. This is very, once you've done this once, it's easy peasy, but it obviously showing something new. Click on tree settings. Mm -hmm. And then that is set to auto. Set it to manual. I will set that to manual. It's very important to set that to manual. Yeah. So when you sign people up, they go into a holding tank, okay? And mm -hmm. then you can place them in the best position, right and left. Because if you've got two people that are friends, yeah. you don't want to be putting them in two separate legs because they're going to be fighting against, they're going to be competing with each other. So you want, if you've got people that are friends, keep them in the same, even though you personally sponsored them, try and keep them in the same leg. They, you know, they, they, they help each other, you know? Yeah. And as you can see, there's my first account here, okay? If you look at the numbers there, I'm on I'm leadership matching bonus level three. So I've already mixed up the, you only need 14 people anyway, 10 in your one leg and four in your left leg. So you need 10 in one this leg, four in this leg, and you're hitting level three. And as you can see, um, I've got a currency here, 150 on my left, 354 on my right there. When that goes to 300 and 900, sorry, 300 and 600, that's, what, that's the cycling part. So, you keep looking at this every day, you're 250 there and 354 as you can see. And that, that's, that's what creates the $50 cycles. And as you can see, members in my downline, I've got, I've got 22 on my left and 28 in my right right now. Okay, um, so for, as an affiliate, we, I have to have, anybody have to have two legs on each side to be directly sponsored, is that right? Yeah, yeah. once you pay your $400 and you, you, you've, um, you, you have $400 and you, you're, you're an affiliate, to become an active affiliate, okay, when you become an affiliate, you've still got access to the mining power at the reduced rate. You've got, you've got wholesale mining as an affiliate. So you're paying your $400, but you've got access to the wholesale mining, which is a cheaper rate of gigahash. Yep. But then to go to the next level, if you want to build a team, you have to be active. This is, this is the same in all binaries. So you need one on the left and one on the right, see? Okay. So what, I, what, are, what are a lot of people would do, and if you've got plenty of money, well, you know, money to play with, mm -hmm. I would recruit yourself twice. Set up three accounts, sponsor yourself on the left, pay another $400. Yeah. Sponsor yourself on the right, pay another $400. Get $150 back commission on your own sign up anyway. So it's only costing you $250 for the second account and $250 for the third account. So now you've got a, a three way account. And what you can do, you can max three accounts. So you can earn 50 grand a week on this account, 50 grand a week on that account, and 50 grand a week on this account. Plus, you're getting the matching bonuses down level one, two, and three. And that's perfectly legal to do that, you know? Okay, okay, right. Once uh, I have that, uh, I, I mean, I have sponsored myself in one leg. The other one, I, I have to keep an auto automatically. It will put me on the other side, even though I have a spillover from... Uh, 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 still, it will put me on the other side. And yeah, if, make you're, it if you're going to sponsor yourself on a second account, be very careful you've got that set to manual, because otherwise, this, the third account could fall into the second account. You don't want that. Sorry, say that again, sorry. Make sure this is set to manual, you okay, is the first thing. Okay, okay. And then when you sponsor your, your third account, this is my first account here, this one here. This is my, say my second account, but it's, it's gone, it's down here further, I was a bit late doing it. And this is my third account here. 
Um, so basically, yeah, you do one year on the left, that's your first account, it's placed on the left. What you actually do, you, when, you, when you sponsor yourself, you get this little, you, you'll have to click this here, place new member, okay? Yeah. Click that, it brings up new people to position. So you'll have your accounts in here, you can position them yourself. They'll be in this box here. Right. So you add one on the left, one on the right, and that qualifies you. But don't forget, then you've got to pay $30 a month on three accounts, 30, 60, 90. So I have to put $30 from each uh, for three accounts then, yeah? Yeah, Good. but at the end of the day, if you're a serious networker, it's, it's peanuts because you're going to be earning that anyway, and the mining as well, you're going to be earning more than that from the mining. To, to yeah, that's right. I'm really serious about it. I, I have just created one lag. I'm just going to create uh, my other lag in a bit uh, for myself. Yeah, so um, what you do then, I'm, at the moment, I'm giving up the affiliate link of my first account. Well, sorry, I've already maxed out my first account. I'm not, now giving the link out for my second account on my left. I'm using this affiliate link now on the left. And once I've qualified this to LMB3, then I'll start giving the affiliate link out of my one on the right. So I'll max out my three accounts. Okay, and for the, my other two accounts, do I have to build separate legs for that? Or I don't have to, like, you know, just pay $30 and, you know, just have to, two legs uh, one for my right and one for my left. Is that enough or what strategy for that? Well, you, you have to do the left and right first, pay $30 a month, but get, get your first account, get 14 people into this account first. You need 14 affiliate signups, 14. Right. 10 on, um, 10 on the left and four on the right, or 10 on the left, or four on the you know, vice versa, you know? Okay, okay. Right, okay. Same with this, move to this account and sponsor 10 people on the left, 10, four people on the right with this account, and then move to this account, do 10 on the left, four on the right. Then you've got three accounts at LMB3. Okay, uh, I mean, on my left, like I can see there's a few are people already there, so which I haven't signed up. So when I make my uh, se uh, second affiliate account, I can put my, myself uh, and, and any under any of them, or is the system, uh, if it's... Um, Auto, it will automatically put there because my first one automatically went on to right because what nobody. What you want to do is, yeah, you, you want to take the automatic, take the automatic off to set okay. the money well. Like okay. as you can see, I've got 22 on my left and 28 on my right, so it's pretty even right now. What you don't want is having hundreds on your right and nothing on the left. All right. You got to keep an eye on these numbers. Very important. To keep an eye on these numbers. All um, right. Keep an eye on the left and right figures there. So if, if I click. The next position, for me, if I want to position somebody now in the next best spot, I, I, got, I got two legs here running roughly the same. So if I go right or left bottom and click on go, that will take me down to the next available position here. So Dan White is here. The next person I'm going to, I'm going to sponsor, but the next person I sign up, I'm going to place under Dan here on the left. Mm -hmm. So Dan, when he wakes up tomorrow, he'll see a person drop underneath him on his, on his left and he's going to wake him up and Dan's going to think, where's this guy come from on my left leg? All of a sudden, this leg is going to build down here, and in six months' time, Dan is going to have hundreds of people underneath him on the left leg. Okay, so as long as it's on the one on the right, one on the left, doesn't matter where I put them, under who's, who's under I put it. Is that, that, is, that doesn't matter, does it? Well, to a certain degree, it doesn't matter, no, but um, try and get your, your leaders in first if you can, you know? Get your, get, speak to your key people first, make a list of all your key people, try and get them in first if you can. All right, because they're going to help your weak people. If the leaders are in first, and when the, when the, when the weak, when the passive people come in, or the people who are, who are slower building a team, they will see spillover from the leaders. They'll keep them motivated, but they still got to build the other leg. There's no free oh, right. You, you, you still have to build another leg to a certain degree. You know, you've got one. You're going to have one leg growing fast. On the other leg, you're going to have to build yourself, and, and you're, you're having half the work done for you to a certain degree. Eventually, it's such, a, it's such a new business right now, and it's, um, you're only just kicking off, you know? Adrian? Yeah. What, as you just said, like, when you change and put that guy on the left, of what benefit, when, like you said, he's going to wake up, like, these people are under me, of what benefit are those people lower than that person going to be to that person? What benefit is, um, is the person at the bottom, you mean? Yeah, like you, you've got uh, you at the top there, and then you place another person underneath you on the left there, and then yeah. uh, another piece, uh, Roland, and then you've got Rongdong, and you've got place another member. 
what benefit are those two underneath Roland going to be to Roland? Are they just well, a benefit to you? Uh, benefit, well, it's benefit, yeah, it's everything's, everything's a benefit. You understand what I mean? You're, putting those, you're placing those people lower than yourself and then lower than the other person underneath you. Yeah. Do, does all the commission just go to you <laughs> or does the commission go to those no, people? Just, 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 just say, for example, no, I, I'm at the top here. Yeah. Um, Matt, Matt, uh, Matt is here. Matt came in pretty quick. If you look at Matt's, if you look at Matt's numbers, no, look. If you if, if you look at Matt's um, figures here, look. Yeah. Matt's got two thousand seven hundred fifty points on his right leg. Right. Uh, Matt mean, even if Matt never sponsored anyone, right. he's, still, he's still having the efforts of me sponsoring. He's falling underneath Matt. I'm coming for you, Matt. Yeah. Uh, Another competition. Nah. So, yeah. So, so, you, so his left, but if you look at Matt's left leg, he didn't look, Matt only got two hundred points in his left leg, so he hasn't built his left leg. So, Matt, you need to put. I'm putting. I'm putting too many people in your right leg more than you can keep up with your left leg. <laughs> so, so, of what benefit are they to Matt then? Well, Matt's got a power leg. Right? He's got two thousand seven hundred fifty points. Right. So once he starts to build his other, he has to build his other leg, the left leg. I've got my left leg now. Yeah, he's not. Nobody gets a free ride in this. You know, this spillover stuff. You know, <coughs> you're about spillover. It's all bullshit. Most of it. You're not going to get a free, free, free ride. You know, you get you get half the business built even a certain way because if you get in early and people start building below you, I need to get right. people on my left. Yeah, but, he, he, well, but Matt has to put some people on his left leg now. Yeah, it's to get to get the benefit then. Yeah, you, you'll get the fifty dollars cycles then. Right, I'm with you now. Right. On the fifty dollars cycles, that pays down to infinity. So I could build, I could build down a million levels, and if Matt builds down a million levels on the other leg, or he brings in one or two key guys and they start building the other left leg, Matt's only got to bring in one key person. If Matt brings in one person and he's a good builder and he puts him on the left leg, that, the left leg goes off on one. People then at the, at the top, like I could make a fortune just by bringing in two people, one in your right and one in your left. That's all you need. Right. Okay, I'm with you. Thank two, you. You need two key people, one on your right, one on your left, to a certain degree, and uh, your points are going to be low, they're going to be millions of points, thousands, tens of thousands of points growing on both sides. Okay. Yeah, it's a bit complex, but um, very complex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but um, after the end of the day, it, it's like it, you, when you get to those particular levels, as you say, saying. You, you, sh you should be on good money anyway. Yeah. Well, yeah. To, yeah. What, what do you mean? What, what do you mean? Well, every, as you as you mentioned those figures earlier, it's not peanuts, is it? It's, it's very good money. Well, the figures from the ten thousand mine, you know, from or from referring. Well, from both, from from everything. Oh yeah, it's, well, it's like anything, isn't it? You can build a team, and there's, don't forget, there's people paying four hundred dollar affiliate commissions to join, four hundred dollar affiliate fees to join. There's commission there. There's people paying thirty dollars a month. There's commission there. So a lot of people don't like why, why have we got to pay four hundred dollars to join a business for. Why have we got to pay thirty dollars a month? For me, that's a negative mindset. I, 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 I'm happy to pay. If FutureNet said we'd be, be charging fifty dollars a month tomorrow, I'd be happy to pay fifty dollars a month to FutureNet. Or future art pro, right? Because it keeps to me it, that that keeps revenue coming into the business, keeps it more sustainable as well, right? I, I don't like these businesses where they just one time payments and you, you never pay nothing ever again. Okay. So for thirty dollars a month as well, is um, that's adding revenue and points to the system, and um, from a networking point of view, we're all earning money. But um, but like Andrew said, the good thing about this is if nobody ever joined again. The company will still be sustainable, even even if nobody joined. Okay. But a lot of the other companies out there, they rely on new people coming in to, to keep to keep the money in the system, you know, because there's no monthly charge. They need new money coming in all the time. Right, and and certainly the uh, the miners are making money. The miners. That's a nice, that's a nice key point. That uh, if you've got enough, you. You've got the option to have the equipment because I've been uh, researching those, and uh, 
you know, computers with like 600 pound graphics cards, complete machines at 2000, that, that's a good deal. Yeah, if you want to buy your own equipment and do it from your bedroom or garage, I think that's pretty challenging personally. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you did that, do that on your own, um, you, you've got that particular uh, challenge, as you said, but with this, you're getting the equipment as well, eventually. You get anyone like, you broke up. You get you get in the equipment eventually, which is one of my hot buttons, if you see what I mean. Yeah, but don't forget this equipment, this three-year contract in three years' time. The equipment that they bought for us is probably going to be out of date because of technology. But the thirty-five percent that the mandatory compounding is going into a pool and buying you more equipment. You know, as as time moves on, that's what's happening. They're updating the equipment as time moves on. Yeah. But to me, the, the equipment at the end of three years would probably be useless from a mining point of view, but it may be okay for playing some games with or using it as a computer, you know? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Well, yes. It, um, as the difficulty gets harder, the, as you say, the equipment becomes obsolete. But, but aren't they, uh, obviously, as they invest in the money and equipment, isn't that being updated as well? Is it, isn't the equipment being updated, you said? Yeah, I mean, as you say, in three years, if you just buy uh, an amp miner, and like, as you say, after 12 days, that's what they're doing, they buy the equipment, and in the pool, surely, as time goes on, It'd be a good idea for that equipment to be updated as it goes on. Well, I think it is updated. I'm not sure if they're um, selling equipment on to third parties at the end of the three years. I'm assuming they get some money back for it because they're still worth something in three years' time. Perhaps that's one of the questions you could uh, clarify when you get to Las Vegas there. But, I, but apparently the equipment has made its money within the first couple of months anyway the, 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 what the, the, the cost of the equipment say three grand for an ant miner for a mining machine that's made that more than that that's broken even or made its money in the, in the first couple of months apparently anyway so it, it's pure profit after that hmm? right yeah <clears throat> at the end of the day all I'm doing is um, it's like anything isn't it you know we got you know I'm in I'm in Swiss Gold Global Jet, which is a part of Genesis Mining they, they don't stop at the moment with that, that, that peed me off a little bit but um, it's, it's just spreading your risk. All I'm doing is spreading my risk. If I can, you know, if another company come out tomorrow and it, it, it was doing the same thing and it was really, you know, it was, it was doing it properly and ethical, everything was illegal about it, I stick a couple of grand in there as well. I'm just spreading my risk, you know? Okay, fair enough. I, but, but this one has got a, a good networking opportunity as well. It's been around since March 2016. I what they want to do. Okay. They've invited me out to Vegas. I got a ten-day trip out there, which is going to be a big thing, and so I can see it's all for real. That'll be interesting. And um, you know, I, I, I don't particularly enjoy do, um, joining all these companies. You no, know, I, I don't particularly enjoy having three, four, five different companies on the go. I do it to spread my risk. If I can just stick to one, that'd be much easier. You know? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I'm hoping this is will be the last one I join. Right. I don't. Really, I don't really want to be building new businesses time after time after time. You know. Right. It'd be great to make to make build one business of thousands and thousands of people in your team, and it, and it keeps going for like three, four, five, ten years. You know, like like utility warehouse, for example, it's been around for twenty years. You know, and yeah, it's a slow burn that is, but it's still around. You know. Right. Can I ask you another question? Um, yeah. You know, I asked you about those. Uh, Websites, the market cap, mm -hmm. where it shows you the uh, the top 100 altcoins. Mm -hmm. Does that? Are you buying and selling altcoins on those on that that them sites? On well, coin market cap? Yes. Um. Well, that's just a yeah. I've got quite a few coins. But that's just a list of all the. <coughs> It's just a list of coins. It's like a regulated list of, of legal coins. It's supposed to be, isn't it? If a coin is not listed on there, but but uh, what I'm asking is, 
did you do a video where you're on there buying and selling those particular coins because uh, some of them are going up at like 28 percent i clicked on the other day at the top uh it's got winners and losers mm. at the top and you go to uh market cap this one yeah yeah click mm. it sorry is it is it trending yeah yeah like gainers and losers yeah click that it tells you at the top there the coin that's uh, grown at 124 percent I, I was uh, talk, discussing this with my friend Peter up in Leeds the other day, and I was assuming, or I said that you were buying and selling these coins. I haven't really gone to, to me, all these are high risk sort of coins, possibly pump and dump coins. They, you, you, there's not enough hours in the day to research every single coin. I haven't got the time for, for it, but um, some people do spend a lot of time researching these coins. And if there's a real community there, a real project going on, Right. Yeah, you can get a lot of money from it. If you get in early enough at the, at the, at the launch of it, the ICO, as they call it, and buy in at half right. a cent, and then it goes up to 12 cents, you're going to make a lot of money. But, you know? but you're not actively buying and selling these coins. That's what I was... Uh, no, I, I'm, I'm dumb. I've got to be honest. I'm, pretty, I'm not saying I'm done with them, but I've got enough old coins now. I've got about, I have got about 20, possibly more, 25 different old coins. Right. And... Um, I've got about 1.8 million in Bitcoin and about 400,000 in all coins. So that's my risk level there. So most of my money is in Bitcoin. Right, okay. And I, all my, my, I got about 400 grand invested in Ethereum, for example, uh, Ripple. Uh, I got some Bitcoin Cash. I got Litecoin. I got Dashcoin. I got Neo. I got Monero. I got IOTO. I got Ethereum right. Classic. I got um, Zcash. I got Stratis. I got um, Steam, EOS. I got that one. So I got, lo I got about a, a, a th couple of thousand in each one, you know? Right. I'm just, I'm just gambling with those. You know, I may lose right. a lot. I'm prepared to lose the 400,000. If it turns into a million, then it's a bonus. If I lose the 400,000, then I, I, I just go back to Bitcoin, you know? Okay. You see that Monroe coin there? Monero, yeah. Monero. I've actually got some software that mines that on my computer. Yeah, apparently. You yeah, it's a, it's a proof of work coin, yeah. It's the same as um, GRS, you know, Groystel coin. You can mine that from a computer as well. Okay, I, you see, that's what I was thinking. You get so many of those coins, but just for having my computer on, I was uh, wondering, you know, to get so many of those, to sell them or buy and sell. Yeah, if you you're not gonna, surely, you're not going to mine many Moneros from a laptop, surely. Well, well, <laughs> surely you can't be mining many of those. Obviously, it depends on the strength of the computer. Yeah. You know, your um, graphics card and uh, the GP CPU. Yeah. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's something for nothing going along, even even mining the Bitcoin. It's yeah, like, I can say, half an hour. You can get, um, I'd, be interested, I'd be interested to know how long it takes you to actually mine one of those Moneros, and, which gives you $86. Let me know. Yeah, well, that, that, this is what this is where that why I'm asking you these questions because uh, if, if it's like say doing a cent a day, it's not worth it, is it? No, but to me, it's not worth. I to me, I, I know it's not worth it. Even trying to to, to to mine Monero from your computer. But but this is what I've been uh, investigating, let's yeah. say, and uh, this software switches to the best exchange rate. One day it might be Monero, one day it might be Ethereum. It switches to the best exchange yeah. rate and it runs in the background and uh, it, it's continuing. So well, you get great. If it works, do a, do a video on it. If it works, and show people that it works. And uh, I'm sure yeah, you could... No. You know. Yeah, it does. I've got, I've got uh, two. Two, and I've got referrals from them. And no. it, uh, it's like a, in a, like a network. And the people, like what you're trying to... What you're explaining here... The software runs in the background. Other people get it on their computer, and it it, it, it compounds that way. All right, then we'll talk. We'll, we'll talk. Perhaps we'll, a, we'll talk about that again anyway. Perhaps we'll uh, do a separate thing on it. I'll, 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 All right. right. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh, anyone got any more questions? I only got a couple of minutes left. Yeah. <laughs> I don't live down there. I said I live in Shetland Bush. Yeah. Said... Adrian. Yeah. Go on. Hey, I think you're right. Oh, All right. Yeah. It takes me a long time to come down here. Hi, Tay, all right? Yeah, can you hear me all right? Yeah, go on. Yeah, cool. Can you go to...
Do you know in the Lifestyle Galaxy back office, do you go on to the... Um... Oh, you're breaking up, Tayan. You're breaking up big time. Can you hear me now? Yeah, but I know, I know you're going to ask. I seen the question you asked earlier. I, I explained this earlier, but you were not me. You just, you just come on, have you? Yeah, just a little while ago. Yeah, I couldn't get yeah. my uh, internet to work. Yeah, this is the question you asked. Um, as you can see, uh, I put 10 grand in um, back on the 27th of September. Yeah. 72, I had 72,000 giga hash. What was the question you were asking? Something about this column here, wasn't it? You, you couldn't understand this column, could you? Is that right? Yeah, what is what is that? What is that called? What I know it's I know it's re, meant to be repurchased in hundred percent. So yeah, that's well, if you if you've said it hundred percent, if you've said it hundred percent, this is what I've got. I'm earning this on a daily basis. Look, thirty five dollars in Bitcoin. I'm earning zero point zero zero eight of a Bitcoin every day. Yeah. So two five nine is a hundred percent of the seventy two thousand you've got. Um, hundred percent? No. Um, no, it's you. No, it's not 100%. Is this more? It's probably. No, where do you get that from? 100%. What do you mean by that? Well, because you, you, cause you've got your set on 100% repurchase, yeah? Yeah, what that means is, or whatever's mined, like, like this, this, this is the mining power that's come through the system. To, I, I've earned 259 giga hash on my first yeah. day. That's what I've been paid on my first day. So this <laughs> added on to this year. So I, I have seventy one nine thirty. Look, plus plus two five nine gives me seventy two one eight nine. Basically, you can see the mining hash power going up daily because yeah. you're compounding a hundred percent. So yeah. on this, yeah. on the uh, on the um, twen is it the twenty eighth? He had two hundred sixty three point nine three zero yeah giga hash, and then on. The 29th, he had 276. So that was the difference of that extra compounding for that day. And, and, and in theory, it should keep going up, I would have thought. Well, yeah. in theory, I mean, I depending, on, depending on the price of Bitcoin, I guess. I, I was just um, thinking, I I'm probably got confused somewhere. I was thinking that because you've got 73,000 giga hash, you're gonna, it's going to repurchase 73,000 giga hash every day. Oh no, that that'd be absolutely impossible, wouldn't it? Sem that seventy three seventy three thousand giga hash cost me ten thousand dollars. Yeah. Oh yeah. right. Okay. So uh, I'm only, I'm only earning percent <coughs> every day. So at the moment I'm on, I'm only earning and say only it's good enough for me ten percent a month. So what's ten percent divided by um what's ten percent divided by thirty? Is that, that's the daily rate, you know? Ten percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, that's obviously point three three, isn't it? Yeah. I'm I'm earning, I'm, ra I'm roughly earning point three three percent a day. Okay. But I'm earning that in Bitcoin value, 0.008 of a Bitcoin. So um, if the Bitcoin price goes up tomorrow, I've still got this 0.008 here. So to me, I'm just going to grow this giga hash up to as much as I can, you know. I want to get this up yeah. to $100 a day at least. I want to get this up to a, a couple of hundred, couple of hundred thousand giga hash. Mm. Okay. So, you know, it's not going to get, it's not going to, again, it's not going to get me, you know, I put 10 grand in. It's not going to get me rich quick, even with ten grand, because um, no, no, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't. Yeah. I know well, no, it's he's not making going to be making a point. Yeah. But I'm, I'm just talking about the giga hash. I'll just because it's hundred percent. I just got confused with it. Yeah, I know what you mean. You were thinking, um, no, I know what you're saying. If you, if you set to the thirty-five percent giga hash, yeah, then this um, this thirty-five dollar year would be. Um, what would that be? That'd be, that'd be, a, that'd be a lesser amount then, wouldn't it? I'd be compounding less. I'd be withdrawing 65% into my wallet. I'll give, you, I'll give you an example, a good example. I, I'm uh, mining with another company that many of us are also mining with. Yeah. And I'm, I've got 232 terahash. So that's 232,000 giga hash, I guess. Mm. And that pays me about, on average, about... $195 to $200 a day, depending on the price of Bitcoin. Yeah. So, yeah. you know. I, I'd say right now, and because um, people analyze these things on penny pinch, prob probably, let me just check my Genesis one. Um, I'd say that Genesis mine is probably paying more than um, Lifestyle Dragon Mine right now. But to me, the compound effect on this, this will overtake Genesis over a period of time, I'm not sure when that. that yeah, it's long term, isn't it? 
long term. I'm not sure when the compound effect will kick in, maybe really three, four, six months. But if you think about it, yeah, I put 10 grand in, that's equivalent to 10 grand in Genesis, for example, that would have given me 75,000 giga hash. Yeah. The $2,000 package gives you 15, 15 tera hash. So I've only, I've only got three, I've only got 3,000 tera hash less than Genesis year, but the daily amount, um, is, um, let me just check this, this one, let me just check this. Um. I think they stop 40% um, as well, don't they? Yeah, at the moment, uh, you are. Yeah, that's right, yeah, that's, that's the same, yeah, that's right, the 40% electric cost, whatever, yeah. I'm looking at my two grand package now in um, Genesis, or Swiss Gold, I'm oh, winning $13 a day, so times that by four, that's $52 a day. So basically, I'm earning $37 a day in Genesis, right? In um, Lifestyle Galaxy. But in Genesis, I would be earning $52 a day right now. So I'm earning a bit less here. I'm earning about $15 a day less. But my Genesis account is not compounding daily while I sleep. Right? I'm not paying any fees. My Swiss Gold, I have to, I have to pay to withdraw, to, and I have to pay again fees to, to, to compound. It's all done manually. It's tiresome. <laughs> I think to be fair, um, you know, the, we, we can't compare the two. Mm. I think what you've got to realize with this business is that some of that money that is going into the business is also being paid out in affiliate commissions in the binary. Yeah, you're, the probably, yeah, you're probably losing a little bit. That's Same why, you know, yeah. so if you are a marketer and you go out and promote it, then you're going to benefit from that. Exactly. If you're just 100% yeah. yeah. focused on purely mining, then you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't necessarily buy the mining contracts here. But on yeah, the other hand, yeah. these mining contracts are available. We're yeah, in they're Genesis. They're available. They, they're available. They, they, they're three-year contracts, don't forget, compared to um, a lifetime contract. They can cancel anytime anyway, so that doesn't make any difference to me. But I really think that this, this auto daily compound will still override um, Genesis over a well, it's only if you don't compound manually with Genesis. Hmm? Only if you don't compound manually with Genesis. Because yeah, compounding, is, compounding is irrelevant. You, you, know, you either do it manually every day or it's done automatically. This yeah. just does it automatically and saves you the bother of having to go in and buy a new contract right. every day. And there's the, you know, so you've got a little bit of automation going on for you. Yeah. Which is, which is you'd, be very, you'd be very surprised how many people in Genesis and Swiss Gold, they get lazy and they go on holidays for a week and they, they don't compound for three or four days or they take a week off and I did it myself, you know? And also saving on, on wallet fees as well. So there's a little bit of a saving there. Yeah, there are, there are yeah, yeah, there's fees. Yeah, you're not... Um, <coughs> but, um, okay, thanks for that. Don't, but you've got the same problem, don't get with Swiss Gold. You're, you're, with, um, you're paying $30 a month. And you, you, you're only getting fifty dollars a month, rather not thirty. And you, you're only getting fifteen dollars of silver or twelve dollars of silver. So you're losing. You know, it's, that way, it's, 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 it's the same in any network, isn't it? You yeah, lose. I mean, it. if you compare the two overall, you've got to look at. And if you're if you're a marketer and you want to be an affiliate, this is going to give you the best. This is going to give you the best op option to make a lot of money. I would have thought, if if you're a um, if you want to be a marketer and, and um, affiliate. So that's right. Yeah. Things are roundabouts, isn't it, really? Yeah. Don't forget as well, we've got other mining, we've got Galaxy Multi-Mining coming up as well, with Ethereum, Zcash, Expanses, there's other coins, other altcoins, which are going to be coming on shortly as well. So it'll be interesting, interesting to see how they compare as well on the mining, you know? Good and, news uh, is Bitcoin is now over 4,900. Well, wow, is it? Oh, wow. Get in there, get in I was talking to um, a guy up in Spain last week and um, Bitcoin's going to hit, he showed me a, a graph, I'll, I'll try and post it on my Facebook, it's going to hit $100,000 in 2021. Mm. Oh, and there's, there's loads of evidence there to back that up. So it's, it's on a graph. He's got it there, I'll try and... So I was pretty excited about that. Wow. Party at your house then, Adrian. Well... <laughs> I'm sorry, party at your mansion. Yeah! <laughs> It was, it was funny because I was on that trip in Spain and um, they, were, yeah. they all had Rolex watches and they all had the designer shirts on, they all had Lamborghinis and there's me and my white and black shirt, you know, and um, just an average guy, you know. Uh, you're humble, <laughs> humble. Yeah, I, was, I bet your missus gave you stick for that. 
<laughs> yeah, I do. I, I gotta be honest. Too. I, I, oh, that's another point. Don't mention my missus. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a birthday in two days' time. And I'm gonna nothing yet. Okay. One Bitcoin then. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's nice to. Um, I gotta be honest. I'm not interested in a Rolex watch, but I, I, I think I probably buy her one. Just to, I'd, have, <laughs> I'd have more pleasure with that than me wearing it really, because uh, I don't know. I'm not into Rolex watches. Well, I, I may one day, but. I don't know, and, and Lamborghinis and all these things, you know, it's, I'm happy with a 40, 50 grand car and that doesn't mind each of the car then. But, um, but I do want to build my house. That's my dream. Don't forget the Rolex and the, and the car. I want to build my own house. Buy a plot of land and build my own house. That's my, my plan. Over, over a Rolex and a car. That's to Martin's really nice. Yeah, I want to, I'm looking for a plot of land. I want to build... A nice, just, just, I don't know, just a 500,000 pound house will do me, half a million pound house. If we can build it, if I can get a plot of land for 100, 200 grand, and it cost me 200 grand to build it, and I got some equity in it once it's finished, got some profit there, and I can live in it. Yeah. I'm more or less done with that, you know, I don't know. Um, that's my next big thing. But if it's finding the plot, finding the plot of land, you know, to live where, to, to live where I live now in Cardiff Bay, the, the new houses they're building up here, by the, with all these top builders, which rip you off in the price, they, they're like um, over a million pounds, you know? So I don't really... Well, just... Adrian, if Bitcoin gets to 100,000, if it got to 100,000 tomorrow, you'd be worth about 40 million. Oh, it's a different, different story. Much. Yeah, it's a different wow. story. Yeah, but when you've got two, just over 2 million, you don't really want to fork up a million on a house, you know? To me, that's bad practice. <coughs> Say about Bitcoin up then. I would rather buy a few smaller houses or do a few projects and make, make some more money or put it to gold and silver, you know, basically, or um, just leave it sitting there. That's what I probably do if I, if I do cash out of um, Bitcoin as it moves up. If it, if it keeps moving up to 10,000, I'm going to have to cash out at least a million. I'm, not gonna leave, I'm just going to take my chances and cash a million anyway. I'll just stick that into silver or gold. I'll have to. I can't, can't put it in the bank, can I? So i got to put it into silver at least. Probably just leave it sit there for another rainy day and uh, until I want to, whatever, spend it. Don't forget, you can take it with you. No, uh, that's right. It's, um, you'll be the richest man in the, in the morgue. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah. oh, there was a lot richer people than me, apparently, when I, on the Spain trip. Um, I'm only a small fish, I am, compared to a lot of people. So, but um, yeah, at the end of the day, I just got lucky as well, don't I? At the end of the day, I got in early with Bitcoin. I, I withdrew my affiliate commissions of Bitcoin when it was $300 a piece. I, I bought a lot of Bitcoin out of my own money from my, through my property deals. I just got in and then I, the, the, the price is in my favor right now, isn't it? $5,000, Five, $5, it's there. It's yeah. in everyone's favor, obviously, but the more you, the more you, you got of it, the more it's in your favor. I got, I got over 400 Bitcoins now. Moment. Wow. The old coins go up as well, and that's a bonus. If Ethereum carry on going and all the other ones, that's, a, that's an even bigger bonus. They can make you more money than, than Bitcoin. Those, the old coins can make it. a smaller value, wouldn't they? Yeah. Right, I'm going to shoot off. Um, Adrian. I tell you what I would do seriously with this business. This, this business is either going to be, well, like any, this is not a pre-launch, any pre-launch. Look what happened to that Omnia company a, a few weeks ago. I went to that launch in London. They were a the disastrous start. That was a complete launch, a new launch. With this, this has been going since March 2016. The infrastructure is already in place. They've got, they've got about 30,000 members. Most of them are passive. There's only about 3,000 affiliates. 10% of, of the 30,000 are just affiliates. So to me, the people who get in now and get the key leaders in, you know, nobody knows, still nobody knows about this. The ones mm -hmm. who get those key guys and just get them in on a $25 package, just get them in on a free account. And then, then at least they're there, ready to upgrade when, when, when they wake up to it. Because oh. I think in about six months time, when a few other programs have probably disappeared and this will still be around, then people will, um, I think, take this serious, you know, and um, they certainly want to be in the... In the <coughs> Only one to be in the portfolio, I think, and um, but the ones who get the, the best people now in the binary, 
you know, this could be um, as big, if not bigger than Big Club. And Big Club has been around for three years, and we're getting it, and it's made many millionaires, Big Club has, Big Club Network. And I think this could be bigger. Well, that's the case. We'll, we'll make it bigger. Yeah, there's no reason why not. Yeah, it's, uh, there's no... There's no big leaders in this yet. Big, big leaders, um, I don't think. Right place, right time. Yeah, timing works. First mover advantage, timing, and um, a, bit, a bit of luck doesn't, doesn't go amiss as well. And um, Just got to keep pushing it, really. Hmm? Just got to keep pushing it, really. Yeah, all I'm doing is pushing the 25, as, you, as you've seen, Matt, and you were doing the same, just pushing the $25 product. This is it's, yeah. it's, it's a, it's a very saleable product. Everyone wants to, Everyone's curious about the $25 Auto mining, all the daily mining Bitcoin package contract. It's, it's Once they get in there, you know, they can just buy more. And it's before they know, they might upgrade. So yeah. Yeah, get them in on the twenty-five dollars. They once they see them earning a few cents a day, they buy another twenty-five dollars. You're earning points every day. They but they, then they buy another twenty-five dollars. Then they may upgrade. They bring somebody else in. We'll get word gets about. Yeah. Good, good system. <clears throat> so. Um, and I think the guys behind it, the guys in South Africa, they are not massive leaders. Don't forget, the, the Andre, he's a great guy. He's, he's on about 40 grand a month of this right now. But he's been building that slowly for, since March 2016. I think this, this is the next phase for him now. I think he's doing that this takes off now in Europe and the rest of the world. Um, his earnings will go up to over 100,000 a month easily, I would have thought, because he's, he's, position, he's positioned at the top now, isn't he? He's going to get all the points on both legs. <clears throat> he got in early at the start. Like anything. Okay. Good yeah, night, everyone. Yeah, I'm gonna call it night as well. Speak to you soon. Night, night, chaps. Okay. Cheers, night, Neil. Night, Cheers, Neil. Night. Night. Cheers, Taya. All in. Yeah, all the best. Cheers. All the best, everyone. Cheers, buddy. Can you put a recording? Can you put a recording on uh, on YouTube or your channel, please? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be up. I'll be uploading this now tonight. Yeah, yeah at some point. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Cheers, eh? Yeah, bye. All the best. Bye. Yeah, bye. Bye.